just sipping on over there, pal. What is that? Is um, it not good? I made a mistake, and uh, I'm drinking an IPA. It's called, like, tubular. When did you become an IPA guy? No, okay, so listen. So Olivia, Olivia bartends, and this is a big, like, hit for draft down, yeah. down at the bar. Uh-huh. I know this isn't draft. And I, I assume that it has to be a banger when it's when it's draft. If it's right? popular, so the, the the vast majority of people must be right, correct? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's like if there's if there's a dude that's ordering like Are they? five of these at the bar, <laughs> I'm just like, okay, we're passing by it at the at the grocery store. Might as well pick it up. I fucking this this tastes like wet fries. It's like it looks a wet like it looks like an fries. energy drink. French fry. It does. Yeah, and that's what, what I it? thought. Yeah, it that's totally what I thought does. It was. Yeah. It's called like, like look at tubular. That. Like tubular. Yeah, we're not sponsored by Tubular, by the way. Fuck the, Tubular. The can looks totally Tubular, for sure. <laughs> but the can? The, tan, the, the fucking can the looks really cool. The, the can? can? Great. Yeah. The, tan, the tan is great, uh, but I you said it tastes tan, like french fries? Like the tan? It tastes like french fries, bro. That's bro, funny. Oh, like, not fries. in a good because, way. I'm because I just had a new... Not am I. I'm trying to eat french fries yeah. that taste like yeah. beer. See, I got, I got this new brand of french fry the other day. It was called... McCain's, I believe, is the brand, and it was a beer battered French fry. I've never had a beer battered French fry that was frozen. Fries are o- only ever They're like so in good. restaurants, never have it at home. They were great. I've never had a better f- uh, frozen French fry. I think, you know, delicious oh. stuff. Other I, brand that's really I, I good still... is uh, oh yeah, is you the, know, go on, keep going. Go the, on. the Checkers brand is what it is. Really yeah, good that's what I was they, about yes, to bring yes, up. Yes, yes, yes. Checkers, checkers fries, the baby. They also checkers have yeah. some <laughs> curly fries. Are they checkers that have curly. There's some really good frozen curly fries too. Uh, uh, Arby's has Arby's curly has fries. Yeah. Frozen. Frozen. I used but to buy Arby's those a frozen lot. curly fries. There's Arby's yeah, frozen curly is. fries. It's like one of the best things at Arby's. That's what I was. What I was. I was talking yeah, about. I love the Arby's curly fries. Beforehand, um, that's like some of the best stuff that comes out of Arby's. Uh, even yeah, better real. is all the games. Bit.ly slash Arby's has the has meats. The meats. Mm. Which the now meats. has an Xbox 360 version of Guitar Hero Rocks the 80s, courtesy of Janak. It's true. All right? yeah. Full build of that. It's awesome. It a is real awesome. ass port, kind of. This is what Xbox should have had, but uh, for whatever reason, Harmonix couldn't get 80s on the Xbox, probably because of licensing deals at the time they got sold off and whatever. But, Jason, yeah. you gotta load that shit on your RGH. It's actually it's insane. Dude, really he doesn't wrong. have to. So it's down. actually it's, insane. I believe it should already be on his RGH. I'm so down to just load it up. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Um, it, it's it's yeah, nice. No. Yeah, bro. I Okay, back to French fry talk, because that's more important. <laughs> I agree. Um, I agree. No, I was saying like the lowest form of French fry is like crinkle cut. That shit is garbage. He's, yeah, by far. Yeah. Crinkle cut. By far. Like, they have, okay, they have hold to on. Never been a fan, bro. For me. But if, listen... If if they're oh, decently yeah, go ahead, crispy, Jason, go ahead. if they're decently crispy and you've got yeah. like some ketchup, bro, you know, it holds the ketchup in the crinkle. That's good. They can that's, be redeemed. That's true. Don't get me wrong. They, they can. can they be can redeemed. be good. You More times than not, them. there's better options though. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You sure. can season them. Put sure. seasoned salt on them. I think that's what saves crinkle cut fries. Yeah. But we're talking or Ida, or Ida, or like <laughs> I don't know. It, it's probably only good with fish and chips, in my opinion. Mm. And it's only good with like fish and chips. But I that's even fair. prefer my tots. I love my tots, my tater tots. tots, tots are are good. I, haven't ta- I haven't had tots in a while. Tater tots, tots are fire. I, I, tots. Had, I just had tater tots last week in my tater tot hot dish. Yeah, Ooh. your hot dish that you're talking yeah. about, I, I, I posted a picture of the tater tot hot dish on uh, on Twitter, and everybody was, you know. Yeah. Because it was maddening. I'll post a picture uh, in here, too, so I can show it to the, to the class. But I had one leftover tater tot. And it was so upsetting because I have this perfect row of tater. I know you guys aren't from Minnesota. None of you guys that listen are from Minnesota. The couple of you that are, sound off in the comments because you guys will know when you make a tater tot hot dish, you must line up the tater tots in a nice orderly fashion. You can't just toss those things on there. That's that's anarchy. That's insane. That's insanity. You be you should be you should be put oh, into a mental yeah, institution bud. if you do that. So I'm gonna open these up fuck real quick. You, brother. Oh fuck no, bud. You gotta line fuck it up. Fuck no, bud. Oh fuck no, bud. You gotta get those lined up real good. <laughs> Oh, that's, man, what that he, looks, that's what we got that here. Looks delicious. It looks delicious. Got nice a one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, nine by five, plus oh, a few extras up there. So that's fifty-one yeah, tater tots this, on there. And then I had that my one extra. Feels good after looking at this. This is the final oh, result. Ooh. No, no, no. I want this right now. Wait, so okay, so I, what am I looking at here? I just okay. see cheese and and tater tots. Yes, there's much there? more than just cheese and tater tots in a tater hot. That's dish. what I thought. It, it's very simple recipe though. All I gotta do is brown some beef and then add whatever sort of seasons you want. For me personally, I added some uh, some Worcestershire sauce, 
Worcestershire and some uh, some ketchup, a little bit of mustard. I almost made kind of like a sloppy Joe type of thing. I was gonna say it's like meat. a sloppy Joe type. It's getting good. close, good, but yeah. in general, okay. you don't have to do any of that. Good. You just really have to brown the beef however you normally do that. You just have to combine it with a can of cream of mushroom soup or cream of chicken and mushroom, which I like. I prefer over cream of mushroom, and then combine that up, and then uh, throw some tater tots on top. Bake it at three fifty for like forty five minutes, and then in the last few minutes, take it out, spread some cheese on top. And then bake it for like another ten, or until the cheese is oh, melted, and you're good to go. Yeah. Delicious stuff. Tear it hot dish. Go try it. Yeah, speak I, you food. know, I'm hungry. I got a bagel. With the what I have for dinner. I had the a... egg, egg everything bagel. bagel. Like a true oh New God, Yorker. What, cheese. what the yes. what the hell did I have for dinner? I'm not worried about it. Damn. No, but dude, I found a couple years back. I thought I was bacon like, on that fucking bagel. By the way. Yeah. I was doing was some. Uh, I was doing some experimenting with uh, you know, with like seasonings and stuff. And I found, like, the exact amount and, like, the right mixture of seasonings to make it taste just like a McDouble. Ooh, the, the same meat in a McDouble. <laughs> and I was like, I don't fucking need to go into McDonald's anymore. I can just make McDonald's, McDouble's aren't cheap. Home. Not anymore. They're not cheap, bro. That shit, $3. Well, Unfortunately, way, are $3 now. and, like, 45 cents. Oh, my God, that bagel, JP. Jesus Christ. Yeah, dude. Uh, it, was, it was delicious. That's a like, serious-ass bagel, egg, bro. everything bagel with jalapeno cream cheese and... Lots oh, of bagels. It was, it was I fantastic. Want some lot bagel, bagel Alec, with locks. Do, do you remember when uh, you and Olivia were staying at my house and I like left in the morning to get us bake? I had to go to class and then I came home. I came home with bagels. <laughs> he had to go to class. Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah. No. I was. So I'm sitting in class. I think I've told the story before. I'm sitting in class and I get an email and it says, "Thank you for purchasing Fortnite." <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> <laughs> you know what like... happened? It was. You know what happened? It was me and Will played Fortnite in JP's room. Yeah. So funny. He's like, <laughs> he was like I've, ne I've never played Fortnite in my life. Like, I didn't know <laughs> if it was free or not. I had no idea. It was like nine in the morning, and me and Will were just playing Fortnite. It was just yeah, terrible. On the, just... On, on the PS4 that I got on the given PS4. for free because my the friend base got a pro. PS4. My friend got a pro, and he was PS4. like, Yo, you want my old PS4? I was like, Sure. <laughs> I would say no. Yeah. <laughs> Why would I say no? Yeah. Free PS4. Yeah, I would shit. never say no to that. Hell it was yeah. very nice of him. You've gotten a lot of free technology. You've gotten like a couple of different computer parts from Drew. You've gotten a whole damn PS4. People are I'm, generous I'm to you, JP. I'm I'm a lucky guy. I I, I actually am. Yeah, like Drew. Because your personality is so nice and infectious, and they just want to be like, I love you, I JP. You're the best. I try. He's gonna give me RAM soon. I'm probably gonna. I was gonna have him come over yesterday, but then I was like, Ah, yeah, Drew. I I forgot that I I had to do something. So uh, he can't come over. <laughs> Sorry. Where did Jake but, go? Just disappeared. Where he he just left. Jason, what about you? What you been doing this week, bro? Bro, I've been just thinking about since you've been talking about fries and like burgers and McDoubles, <laughs> I just went back in time. Like earlier this week, I saw a post on Twitter that went viral. This is where my brain is right now. I saw a post that went viral of the old dollar menu, like the old extra value menus oh from McDonald's. Uh, like, okay, all right. I all remember right. the menu when there was a Mighty Kids meal. Yo, mm -hmm. yo, just look at this and tell me it doesn't give you Holy nostalgia. Look at those fuck. extra value man. Look at those. Oh, we look at those. Back. We used we to be a back. proper country. What oh happened? Oh my god. For three dollars? Three whole it. dollars? Quarter pounder with no, cheese I wasn't, meal. Three I wasn't dollars. there. Oh supersize it? <laughs> Bro, I That's wasn't there for the supersize it. I, I, would, I, I think yeah. I like knew about McDonald's after the, the, uh, the, the documentary. That guy's dead, by the way. Yeah, yeah he died. Yeah. That guy died. From, I believe, alcoholism. Did you guys see that Wendy's is closing like 120 locations or something? What happened the to Krabby Wendy's? Patties? Yeah, that's, the Krabby Patties what? are a failure. The Krabby Patty wasn't that good, but yeah, they're closing a bunch wow. of places. It sucks. Mm. I don't know. I don't know why. I want a burger now. <laughs> yeah, now I want a burger. I want, I want tater tots now. I don't want a burger. Yeah, I want, I want a burger. No. Want, I just want tater tots. I want to take like five bags of extra strawberry <laughs> and just dump it on there. Like oh, all the like bags of sand. Like hard. Yeah. Make this it like make like a tot. A, a tot yeah. nacho. A tacho. Tacho! Bro, oh, okay, tots. when we were, dude, okay, when we were in Texas, we should have gone to Pluckers. Any, any Texans oh, yes. in the chat? Any You're Texans right. down in the comments know exactly what the fuck Pluckers is. It's B-dubs on crack. And they have an okay. uh, appetizer called tachos. All right? And so it's obviously tater tots, but they have this homemade queso, and you can have, like, it, they, like, chop up boneless chicken wings, and they put it all over it with, the uh, uh, a sauce of your choice. That sounds uh, so insane. good right now. And then it, there's like there's pico de gallo and green onions on it. It's that insane. sounds fantastic. 
is my mouth just watered. Insane. My mouth is watering. That's yeah. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. My mouth's watering. Yeah. Think about it. You this know, is the like... food episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is the food episode, man. Oh my okay. god. Okay. All right, but but really though. There's not much going on on the festival side. Really Maybe, no okay, we got a little to talk on the Clone Hero side, but we just are eating our feelings, and that's okay. Yeah. That's okay. <laughs> it's okay. Hey, daylight savings, still haven't adjusted to it. It's getting darker, you know? I gotta, I gotta put on the pounds for winter. We gotta bulk up for hibernation. That's how it goes. You gotta finish this fucking True. crap. No, no, don't. You don't have to. Nobody has to. Drink okay, your French fries. At him. Stop looking at him. Do this. Quit looking at him. Nobody's JP, you brought up ram, and that set this. me off. Oh, yeah. I you got me the... some ram. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he got Ram. I am got building a new oh, PC, Rams. folks. I like Ram. Like I'm building Ram's a new good. PC. I, I went deep in, in, into the research, and I got all, most of the pieces. This Look here is this a, a Ryzen 9800X 3D, guy. baby. He, he wins, this he is wins FNCS. Nice. He wins yeah. FNCS is what he does with the winnings. Good FNCS man. FNCS check just cashed. I, yeah, I can I afford say, this shit you got that money now. recently, right? Mm -hmm. Hell I yeah, did. dude. Yeah, we all got our payouts from uh, from FNCS. For GP. Fuck yeah, W, but, uh, bro. We yeah, all so, did. So I got the CPU. Got, <laughs> got the RAM. Money. Can I have some pity <laughs> money, please? You didn't? <laughs> Not yet. You're no. down the street, bro. How? Bro, we really? Did you did you already did you fill up the the the, the, the survey or the little yes. thing? Really? Oh, I got least, mine immediately. At least you filled it out. At least you filled it out. Whatever. Dude's it's down the bro, street. Okay. What's the going way. on? It, it said they pay out monthly. I'm, I'm used to this. Yeah, you it's gotta, okay. Jason, you got to go to headquarters. You have to be like, Julia. It'll, it'll Hi. Come it'll come I'm here to walk up, with a, <laughs> walk up with a Halloween I, bucket. Trick or treat. I need my funny, too. Give me my check, please. I'm not even kidding, though. You just really just put two and two together in my brain because I've been thinking about getting a new computer myself because this thing's on its last legs. It keeps having issues. Just and say I you've had it. that since 2019, it's been a while. right? Yeah. Longer. Yeah, it's 2018. Longer. It's like a 1080 Ti, right? It is a 1080 Ti. This thing is seven years old. Like it is. Woo! It is. It's starting to feel. Yeah, that's probably starting to feel Woo! its age. Oh man, that's my it's... spare parts PC. <laughs> that's I'm, the type I'm, of shit. The only reason I'm upgrading now is because I'm starting to feel like uh, it's slower than what I want it to be, and it's not doing as many things I want because because I sure. I underbought with this one. I didn't do much research, and the motherboard that I chose is one of the cheaper ones, and it just doesn't support all my USB devices. I have so many fucking USB yeah, devices that's plugged a big in here. Thing now. You see, USB I had to get a devices. I had to get an add-in card uh, to to add more I have USBs. That too. Oh, to bro. My PC. I also have an add-in card. Yeah. I yeah. So my I don't PCI have an lens are being card. used up by all that shit. I used I used to have an add-in card, and I was like. This shit fucking sucks. So now I suck. run a hub. It does. I use a hub into my USB C and it's a powered hub. And it's oh, that's probably a decent yeah, power, power No, no, it's fired. Yeah. Yeah. One has of my enough. cameras, my cameras is hooked up to it. My fucking mouse is hooked up to it. It's great. It, it's yeah. it's the best. My, I put guitars into it too and it's fired. Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. And then there's a I'm there's two fast chargers on the end of it too. So like that's my nice. phone. This time, yeah. I definitely did not underbuy. I overbought. This is a five hundred dollar motherboard that I definitely That's probably insane. didn't what need. What the fuck? But it is. It's balling. It's a good ass motherboard. You got to take a look at what, what this thing is. Four pounds. A motherboard weighs four pounds. <laughs> Holy <laughs> what? crap! I, 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 fucking, when I took it out of the box, like the, I was like, "That's like a four insane." Terabyte? You doing like a two, three terabyte NVMe type shit? See, I don't know yet because I don't want to use up all my PCI lanes. I'm Googling all this shit now because this is PCI 5 compatible. Uh, PCI E 5.0. But if you, only if you only have one PCI E 5.0 drive inserted, you're fine. But if you have two, it should take up two, or it should take up two times four lanes, which would be eight lanes. But 16 lanes are being used by the GPU, and there's only four that. PCI lanes are a, a weird ass thing that I don't understand fully. And really, it won't make that big of a difference for me. If I if I if my GPU is running in X, in X16 versus X8, it might have like one percent different uh, of performance. But still, I don't want to like artificially hamper my performance, whatever. But I haven't taken it's this like out of Counter Strike yet. Two. Every frame, is, every frame it, fucking every, matters. That's partially why I'm perfect. doing it because because my CS2 has run like shit always. But uh, on the AM5 so platform, which is I'll play that game too, I know how badly it looks much better. That shit Look at all the wow, USB ports in this God. thing. Beasy, dude. Holy That's a we lot. Have, we have six over here, uh, three over here, and then yeah, what, four USB like C's down here. How many USB C's? That, four? That is, there are four, four USB four. C's, so that is that is thirteen ports on the back of the motherboard, and then the front of the uh, the the case yeah, will have two, a couple as well. Yeah, ports. Two Ethernets as well. I don't yeah, know what I'll use the second one for, that's but it's there. I don't know. Is that like hey, pass through? Hey, it could be pass through. What? One's a two point five G, and one's a five G, uh, five gig, ah, whatever transfers, okay. whatever. Hurts, yeah. Guess what, kids? Go do subathons, and you can get this. 
Yeah, you know, with, no, but with PC it's so heavy because all these heat sinks, everything's full of heat sinks. This is mostly yeah, metal. Yeah, a lot of heat sinks. They're huge. That's fucking crazy. No wonder it's four pounds. I would do a PC upgrade, so like not even for gaming. Like it's more about multitasking. I feel like these exactly. days, especially when you're making content and stuff, and like you're streaming on multiple platforms and shit. Like it's more of a multitasking issue, not even a gaming issue. You know, for me personally. Like, exactly. And and that's like, you know, that's why that's where I'm feeling my PC's age right now is because when I, when I try to, to stream, video, you know, like yeah, GPU, when it, when if I would ever stream and play a game at the same time, ha, not happening, pal. Oh, dude, I'm gonna be dropping streaming. frames like no tomorrow. Dual especially streaming, dual not streaming. happening. With dude, this, clone maybe hero, be better. Like I, I did a dual stream with Random Days, uh, Clone Hero Two player on both Twitch and TikTok, and my shit is normally like 2K plus FPS and dropped like 200. Like <sighs> it was bad. It was really bad. Yeah, yeah, man. No, it's not. It's. I think. I think the way that those people do is they, they already have dual PC setups. They, like, they already have it. They absolutely yeah, I'm all, I'm have dual PC like, setups I'm or almost, their console I, only. I think right. that what I would probably do at this point, because I I'm lucky enough to have a micro center 25 minutes away, I would just build a completely new PC there and then use this as like a rendering PC or some shit in the future. Mm. That's probably that's kind of what I'm yeah, thinking see, about like, doing as well with, with this current yeah. PC I'm using now. Once I once I buy a new GPU. Because I'm going to be reusing the GPU I have in this one until the new 50 it's series comes enough, out. Yeah, for now. Yeah, the GPU is yeah, fine. I mean, it's just that I don't want to buy a 4070 Ti or a 4080 yet when the, the 50 is two months away. You know, I don't feel like there's is. much of a point. Yeah. And I can wait. You know it's what? still fine. It's a 3080. I, it's, I, it's pretty good. I still have like a fairly like whatever, like spare parts PC. I can't just bring myself to stream from two PCs. I just can't. I can't do this it. setup. There's a lot of I, setup involved. The setup is uh, yeah, unbelievable. There's a lot of setup. And like, Audio there, there's also what is it? Uh, network display interface yeah. capture or some NDI. I think that's what it stands for. Yeah. But like, you use that instead of a capture card because it's like even lower latency than mm -hmm. like if you just used. You're essentially PCI card. what it, the believe it, what it, how it works is that like you have one OBS open for like. If, do you have two OBSs open, one on each computer, and then like it one sends on each computer and it, it sends, sends it, to the it through other. the network to the other one? It's yeah. weird, crazy. man. But yeah. I mean, theoretically, if you get that working, it's got to be user your, friendly your main if PC so many people do it. Never encumbered by encoding or streaming or anything like that. That sounds like a dream. Yeah, so. I I just want to use this main PC that I'm on and just play with it how it is with nothing else, like having to focus on nothing. You know, I I just mm. don't. I don't want any resources to be taken up. I just want it to work. <laughs> That's exactly. why I play so much Fortnite off my PS5 or my Xbox mm -hmm. instead of doing, playing it on my doing PC. a similar thing is moving the, the rendering load over to a different machine. In this yeah. case, the console. Well, you, of the PC. you stream it off of Xbox. Mm -hmm. Jason's been suffering on one PC. I am fucking I'm insane. A, a PC that's literally hemorrhaging on its last breath. That's like, please yeah. stop. Just shoot me already. Like, and I'm God, over here like, like I need a rest. I need a rest. rest. Yeah, you're not yeah. dual streaming anymore. Yeah, I'm sure yeah. that did help. Literally, literally because part yeah. of the reason that I stopped dual streaming was because the computer was suffering so much, it just and can't it. the benefit didn't outweigh the tech issues. Yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, nothing like, more annoying to deal with live than tech issues. Bro, really, though? No, it's so I was trying to stream. I was trying to stream GH1 a couple days ago, and then all of a sudden, the, uh, the, the 2X filter on my RetroTink wasn't working. I mean, it just I had to use pass through and it was all interlaced as fuck. Uh, yeah. And like I had to I had to de interlace using OBS, which made it look like a decent quality YouTube video, but it wasn't 60 FPS anymore. That sucks. Uh, sucks. I mean, how long have you had the Retro Tink? I've had the Retro Tink since like 2022 or 2022. Yeah, so it hasn't even been that long. Yeah, it's still fairly. I think it's like I think it's my component cables or the HDMI that I'm using. Probably something mm. stupid. But like yeah. the retro tink is fine. Like the pastor, it looks great on my end. It's just whatever upscaling it was using or the HDMI I was using was a no no. So hmm. I mean, it's what it's. I uh I ended up playing GH one more of that. Uh I got Did fucking eight hundred K I eight hundred K on flames on GH one, which Jake yeah. called that's, as that's soon a, as soon as we're past score. soul. It was disgusting. Yeah, I was like, this is eight hundred K, easy eight hundred K. But then I I I, uh, I added it to like ah, it was gonna be seven eighty nine k and I was wrong with that one. But I, the first the no first I fucking prediction cooked. was eight hundred. I hit the outro under star power. I and you got like halfway it. through the snake. You got to that second. Yeah blue. no no I hit it halfway through the snake. Was it on just on GH1. GH one? Yeah that's fucked up. It is as fucked up as you think it is. Big time fucks. I streamed GH one as well and I played Solus four. I believe I got eight hundred fifty k on that one. You tried. Oh my way. Eight fifty k on Solus four. 
Yeah. <coughs> no strum limit patch either. Strum limit was still, no still there. No strum limit patch. Yeah. So I still had to deal with only being able to strum at 16, 17 notes per second. So solo over robot, never happening. Uh, for all the solo strumming, I actually used the hopos and it felt really nice on GH1. Using, using the hopos for solo strumming. It was great. I played Solus 5 on Guitar Hero 1 and that was fucking terrible. Yeah. Same ISO as both of them. one of the worst things ever. Um, I think that's Steven yeah, no, Gamma's ISO. Guitar Hero 1 is 20, 20 years old next year. Next yep. year. Next year. This yeah, year just 19. 19. Yeah. Yeah. There's a there's a lot of good stuff happening on the five fret side. Especially well, uh if you if you caught the uh the, the clone hero tournament, the invitational, congratulations yes. to Dark High winning on a fucking Riftmaster. That That's was great. That showing man. that showing was awesome. I, I watched uh I skimmed through the VODs uh last night and Ben was killing it. He was oh, absolutely really? yeah, he was crazy. a monster. Dude, yeah. so, okay, um, so let's real quick. The players that were in this tournament, there were eight players. It was just a quick one and done, single day invitational five type thing. It was a single elimination bracket very style. Nice format. So, and uh, the, I like the way that they chose the players because the, there was four old school players and there was four newer school players. You could say so. The the four old school players, if I can remember them off the top of my head, we had Beverly Two, we had Ucog Monkey, we had Finger Quick, and we had Dark Eye. Those are the four old school. The four new school, we had Geo Geometric. Uh, MJ, our boy MJ, uh, Sweaty Curtis, who competed with us in uh, in the Dallas, and then who was the last one? Mr. Electric. Mr. Electric Nick. Yes. Yeah. So those are the four new players. Which he he's got that dog in him. He's a he he's does. a fucking monster. He do. He's, he's a lefty. lefty Even too. though he's been around for a a while, he's been around for a while. Like yeah, he, he only yeah. just started like doing like content stuff though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, and, he's, like, he's really good. Seas, so. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So like that that tournament was really sick i was watching i was watching ucog for like probably like maybe three hours like probably half of his stream yeah he was because it was fun earlier. watching him play again yeah, but dude, George's and, then, guitar and then we have motherfucking like jprez on jprez was on the call too <laughs> yeah helping him like squeeze and path and stuff so it was <laughs> it was great i think even right now uh prez is playing call, Jordan, yeah. trying to get 502 and george is on the call right now and so they're just shooting the shit and they're just talking so it's great it's a good good time um you know, tournament aside, though, there was a big old announcement and big uh, of a of a new Huge. version of the game. Huge, uh, with the the leaderboards, a launcher. They like they added a. I, I like the addition of open chords. Close uh, notes. I think Dude, that's Reddit hilarious. Hated that. Did you see yeah, the Reddit? Not Reddit? Happy. Oh yeah, the Reddit. That shit. I know exactly who posted that, and I know exactly his opinions, and it's fine. I will say <laughs> this though: open chords do have no obligation to be charted. There is no, no. obligation. Yeah, like I, I never, I would never beauty, do it personally. And the beauty of Clone Hero is that you can play whatever the fuck you want, however you want. So, like, hey, you don't want to play a song with open chords? Okay, then then just don't. Good thing there's a hundred plus, a hundred thousand plus charts out there yeah. that don't mm -hmm. have this there, mechanic. I, I have this the, is something uh, that I have the I have the, the blog the post open now, so now now they oh, can see cool. what we're talking about here. Uh, an yeah. open chord post, like, is just screenshots. Look at that. It's just an open with a note on top of it, and it, what this effectively does is forces you that you cannot anchor anything. You can only hold down the yellow to hit this note. If you're holding a yellow and a green, it's a miss. So really, what 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 a charter would do if they if they chart an open chord is forcing you to only hit that one note if they for whatever reason want you to hit it in a very specific way. You know. Now my my thing about this is that it's a cool mechanic, and I think I have said this when Yar when Yarg added it to Nightly, which so this already exists. This mechanic exists. Yeah, same new. Yarg just already. Clone Hero. Um, but now in Clone Hero, with this existing, I think they could probably make this look a little bit nicer. This looks fucking cursed. I'm yeah. just saying, this looks cursed. It's tough to look shit. at, but you'd almost have to make it, like a new note type to look at in, in a way. Like, hey, well, you can't you anchor this one. It reminds me of. It reminds me of uh, the. Jeremy short of bleed that got fucked up. Those, <laughs> yeah. Oh man, what a good time. On the open, yeah. It, I don't think it was bleed. It was I. Oh, it was, it was I. I oh, that's even more fucked up. It that's twenty I. minutes and long. Yeah. There was a green off to the left side of the lane, but open notes were still there. Or like the it was a green in the in the correct lane, but the open note was shifted yeah, all the way and to I the can, right. I can give the lore as to why that is. So, uh, Jeremy was still using feedback to chart. Um, and shout out to feedback, if, Turkey Man. Shout out to feedback. So, if you wanted to do open notes and feedback, what you would do is that you would place an event, uh, N60 on that note, and then you would <laughs> N60, use N60, man. And then, and then yep. you would use, yeah, because it's notes zero, uh, through five, I think. Yes, it was zero um, through five. 
Yeah. Or no, so it's zero through four, and then N5 oh, is Hopo. Forcing events. So, forcing, forcing events forcing are N5. Events. Yeah, yeah. And then N6 is, uh, is uh, open. And so then you would feed the chart through, because uh, charts are literally just text files, for those who don't know. They are literally just text files with a different name. Like you can open it in the notepad. You would feed it into a script, and then it would convert all of those events in the proper open notes. And um, Clone Hero Something wasn't wrong. Clone Hero was not reading it correctly at all. <laughs> it wasn't reading it correctly. Something so went that's very, the, that's very, very wrong. Yeah, that's the lore on I that. I was already seven years ago. Can you believe that, man? It's a great video. I was video. already seven years ago. I'm glad and I'm not Jeremy was so upset when head. that happened, and I was like, dude, it's fine. It was oh, I, I, I didn't blame him at all. I just thought it was a Clone Hero problem, dead yeah. ass. It was maybe funny. maybe it was I didn't. Funny. Maybe I did say, "What the fuck is wrong with the chart? Why? What happened, Jay Duran?" No, I don't I know. It was seven years ago. I don't remember. At the screen. <laughs> the like, problem was it was unhittable for me, but the bot yeah, it hit it no problem. Yeah. The bot hit it no problem. I was like, "What happened? <laughs> well, what's going on?" But anyway, sorry, we got derailed a little bit. Clone Hero version one point one. That happens. Uh, you know. uh, big things. Big things right away is leaderboards. Cool. That's, yes, that's leaderboards awesome. are coming. Ooh, good stuff. Um. <laughs> I think it's going to be great for the the drum community does have this really awesome uh uh drum leaderboard dmleaderboards.com I I'm coming up blank on who developed it but it has an awesome elo system and I've been uploading my my scores onto there Jason and uh, Jason you should get on that shit because it's really fun JP I know you're playing yarg for drums but I don't know yeah. Jake you're undecided cuz you're not playing drums currently <laughs> no. but I, I've been just I'm drum curious. Doing, I've been just doing runs and then you just upload your scores dot bin to this and it gives you like an elo and stuff. I'm like rank twenty on the website for this. W out of maybe oh. like I don't know how many people are on here. Who knows? Oh, okay. Uh yeah, yeah. There's there's like a it, it's part of the drummers monthly Discord. They're all cool guys in there. Um yeah, it's a great it's a great it just server. kinda kinda just gave me like an insight. It's like, damn, these these are what like the the sweaty drum players of Clone Hero are like. They're so chill. They're so chill. And like yeah. everyone's cool and nice I like to each other. It's Chill like I it, it it's uh it, it's very peaceful in there and everyone's like really cool. So if you're well, that, a drummer, that was another go check out drummers the, That was another thing with the tournament too, is that like all the players have such great sportsmanship and like we're really fortunate that we have that in our community because like I, I mean correct me if I'm wrong, Jason, but like even back in the day, like everybody just had good sportsmanship with this game. That because was my it, favorite part of going to all it, events. It, it, it takes Absolutely. it takes a lot of skill to get good at these games and everybody mutually respects each other. You know, not that I may be games don't take skill. I, don't get me wrong. I might be like projecting a little bit, but like I've always felt like five fret was kind of it was very competitive. Always, yes, it, it, always, was. it always was competitive. But there was good sportsmanship. And I think, th yeah, there was good sportsmanship. I I'd say that like the the players that I was afraid to go up against, they're like I I was just like I have to beat this guy. I'm so much better than him. This was like when I was like 14. Okay, it was like 14, 15 years old doing this stuff. It's just like I I could shit on this guy or whatever. I was just got all going on in my head, but at the end of the day, I was just like, "Hey, man, let's 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 play some friendlies." Like, I brought Smash Hits to a tournament, Devastation, in two thousand nine or two thousand ten. The um, last one. Oh my god. Is, well, no, two thousand eleven. That was the one where we did Devo. That was the last. Oh, one that we was did. that two thousand eleven? I thought that was twenty ten. Uh, Shit. it was like twenty ten or twenty eleven. It was after Warriors of Rock came out, right after Rock Band three came that, out. So it was that probably last Warriors of Rock. Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, and we did Devo. But it was uh it was two thousand nine, I think. It was me and Whitwicks. Like we like we were at, we were just chilling off just doing friendlies like the whole time. And like but I knew I was just like, Man, I need to beat this guy, but I know he could beat the shit out of me in the game. And it's just like it was fucking hard. It it was just it was such a hard thing, but like the sportsmanship is always hung on. I think like with with Clone Hero at least, it's kinda like wavered in and out. There's young kids that come into the scene, there's toxic people, weird people, et cetera, et cetera. I don't feel that with Drummers Monthly. I don't know if five, like Five Fret is like that, if there even is that much of a, you know, I think uh, a lot of the competitive Five Fret dudes that I, I talk to it, like, like, uh, like, um, fucking Demand or Matriff or, uh, you know, just all, all those guys, CSC dudes, Five Fret competitive, super chill. Mm -hmm. But it's like it's like the tapping side that I don't really pay attention to because it's like I don't really relate to that too much. But I still understand and like like understand what the 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 efforts their efforts putting into five fret too because it is mm -hmm. cool. It's just how just cool how fucking cool is that? I like I you used can push to be a lot the ceiling so high. 
But then I used to be so interested in it <laughs> too. I'm interested though. into it <laughs> to this day. And whether the, the cheating scandal was a, a tip, like you know, tipped me off the iceberg or whatever, it made me less interested personally. It definitely yeah, made me, me less interested too. Yeah. And it's just, I don't know. I just, I don't, I don't really see much in that regard. I've always so, been so technical. I, I think at the end of the day, I've always been so technical, and it's like I don't see technicality that much when it comes to Clone Hero 5 fret, unless it's like strum tech type stuff. I see guys I've seen epidermis drum chart on guitar. That's insane. Yeah, that, that is awesome. absolutely insane. Drum tar chart. Uh, Co uh, Collagio, his strum, his strum tech charts are fucking insane. Like, uh, what is it? Stutter step. There, there's that one. There's, a, there's a bunch of like chord tech ones too. Um, but I, I hope that there's some sort of hard reset with Clone Hero V1. Like that's the way V1.1. That's the way that I see it. Cause with the leaderboards and stuff. We're going to see people we have never interacted before up on those leaderboards. That's going to be the main clone hero build that people get. The reason why not a lot of people hopped on scores by because it was like, I had to download clone hero again. Oh, it's going to erase all my scores. Oh, if I bring over all my scores, it's going to be removed and they're not going to count. Like, why would I do that or something, you know? But it seems like with clone hero V1, there's V1.1, there's going to be a way to, as long as you have like the screenshots uh, then you can transfer all your scores over. And God knows how that's gonna go. I mean, Ugh. uh, but I think it's gonna be a nice little hard reset. Uh, I'm excited. I don't know if they the mentioned it, I feel like they. I feel like they too. won't transfer over scores because there's gonna be server side validation for this leaderboard. Yes, that's, that's a what big I'm saying. Like with the yeah, with the screenshots and stuff. I, I think there's gonna be some sort of way that they're going to verify it, but I don't know if they're going to go through all that trouble, if I'm being well, honest. I think there needs to be a they, real... No, there's a, whole, there's a whole thing. There's, there's going to yeah. be. It says, from the start, leaderboard system has been des designed to prevent cheaters from submitting fake scores, and a lot of work has gone into the game to ensure that harbor differences and the chart file differences will not affect scoring. There's server-side mm -hmm. validation. There's going to be re a replay system for runs, so you'll be able to watch a run back in, cool. in a certain way. It'll probably save it That's as a cool. file. People that you'll have been asking like, for that for years. So here's one, one quirk on that, though. Right now, the replays are only server-side right now. That is not something that's going to be available oh, to the public. Yeah. That uh, is now yeah, only yeah, going to be... Side. Yeah, that's only to validate so, scores right now. That is not something that's public. Yeah, that, that's, that's how they did it for... That's how they did it for Score Spy. Also, but I suppose like the it, option could be open to ha allowing you to see the replay. I mean, that could be a security risk, I, maybe. But well, uh, the the problem comes with this is that replays were always a thing, and the NeverSoft games had replays. You you could have replays. Like if you go on, if you have a debug enabled version of Guitar Hero Three, and you just oh play yeah, true, and mm -hmm. you can you can play it, and then you go into the debug menu after you're done playing a song. You hit save replay, and you can load it from the main menu. You can watch it back. I didn't know that. Uh, as it did. I forgot about but, that, yeah. So the, the, reason why, the reason why I bring this up is because when people tried to do replays when they were doing the GH3 PC era, everyone was on 500 FPS, 1,000 FPS. The engine is tied to frame rate. Yes. So inputs were all over the place when you tried to do a replay. Oh. It was only built for doing replays at 60 frames per second. And my understanding is with Clone Hero is that it is impossible with the way that Clone Hero is built, even though they refactored the entire game for version 1.1, is apparently impossible for them to separate inputs from being recognized as like them being hit. So it's really I, I don't think we're I don't think the end user is ever going to be seeing replays. I mm -hmm. think if they want to see a replay, you go do replay buffer on OBS. You're not going to see it run back. If you want to see run back replays, go do Yarg. That has a frame independent engine. Well, no, Clone is going frame independent as well. But I thought that, that's on. I I've heard that to that's only for doing re replays. I thought it was like to an extent. It's not mm, not that's possible. It. I just read because, it's like re it's rewired. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's frame independent hit detection, not inputs. So yeah. it's a workaround uh, so that they can okay. get the replays working properly, regardless of FPS. It's all really interesting, but that's that's the way that I understood it because that's the info that was fed oh, to yeah, me yeah. Uh, before, this, before this new, news blog went up. New hit detection code. There's been a large rewrite of the hit detection code, making it fully deterministic given only your inputs and the time of each input. Additionally, for us, we can, use, we can now use the hit detection outside of the game itself. This is key for making yep. leaderboards possible in a secure way, as, yep. as now we can validate a run server-side once you have finished the song before making the score public. 
Okay, so yeah, the yeah, way yeah. that I see it, it's like the way that I see it, it's like okay, this guy hit the note, and the game was running at the speed that it's supposed to be running. It wasn't cheat engined. It wasn't slowed down. It wasn't sped up. It was hit in real time, and we can verify it right here. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter like what type of uh, you know FPS you're running at. Yeah, it's just hey, they he did it right. Cool. And, there, and there's a second valid. here, the, the next paragraph in that in that uh, piece too says, this is a large step uh, towards making the game fully frame rate independent, but unfortunately the controller input library that Cloner uses, rewired, is still frame rate dependent, which means the game will for now continue to read inputs for uh, more accurately with a higher frame rate. Okay, so partially, it could be a step it's in like, zone. It's Strike line yeah, perhaps? It's a step, step I, I, I ain't gonna 2, lie. Perhaps? I ain't gonna lie. If they want to give up on Strike line and put, their, put all their, their eggs back into this, uh, November 2022, they said it's going in a long-term support. This is not a long-term support update. This is a major update. Yeah, this is a, this is this, is this, a major this could have update. been Strike Line. I don't know. I haven't heard about Strike I, Line in years. Yeah, I at this point I don't really give a fuck if that still exists or not. Clone Hero is a household name, whether we like it or not. I'm personally yeah. very happy that Clone Hero is a household name. I, I mean, think I've waited people, years for this to be a household you name. You know, people I'm are still happy. discovering Clone Hero for the first time. In, our, in the modern day, yeah. like like, it, like yeah, there's still people are like, wait, that exists. Like, dude, I was I was out there day, and I was just talking about playing guitar here, and they were like, oh, don't they don't they like have that for computers now? And I was like, clone here, like, yeah, yeah, dude, I played that, and I'm thinking like, yeah, like all these people just like, you know, guitar hero at home, <laughs> basically. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Having hero no, in I the mean, name helps a lot. Totally fine. It does. Totally fine. It does. I think like, yeah, I I'm personally really happy that just as it is, clone hero is a very valid option. And people I, are having a good time with it. People are having a good time with it. And I, I said this, I think, like, you know, it's like, I, I borderline hate this game for playing guitar. But I'm going to run back full Series FC when leaderboards are up. I might play drums I think on that's it gonna because be leaderboards are going to be up. That could be fun. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm still, yeah, reason to play I'm still playing drums. Just your own personal yeah, enjoyment, me, you know? Me and, and Jason and, can, can tug of war some scores, you know? <laughs> I'm so down you for that You and Jason are going to tug, bro? You're going to try tug? You want to tug? Oh, Jay, you want to tug, tug on each other? Let's go tug. All let's, go. Yeah. Yeah. Tug. let's go. Hey, hey I'm grab my sticks. Gonna... Let's go tug. <laughs> yeah, let me grab my sticks. Let me grab my sticks. And he's gay, so it makes sense. We're going to play pro Hmm, <laughs> 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 yeah, man. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> or here out of context. Clip farming, clip farming. Did we say what episode this, by the way? I feel like we didn't say what episode it is. Welcome to Lore Hero episode 54, guys. We're talking here. Hey, <laughs> 54. You ask me what I was sipping on, bro. Wet fries. Yeah, wet, wet fries. fries. That's, that's the wet fries that's is the what title. I was sipping on, bro. Can we? Can, can you make the title "I be sipping" parentheses on fries? That no, no, don't do that. I will not don't be. I be that. sipping. That, that <laughs> that's a reference to to finger quick uh, from the that off season two. To, that is that a reference to that shit was legendary. I'm sorry. Right he's here. got the he's got the photo right uh, right there ready to go on I deck. Have, I have I have this photo too. Look at look the at whole group. And I, that one's hanging on my fridge. Look at, look at Alex. Hanging on my fridge. <laughs> He's yeah, fully pog faced. Mr. Pringle. John yeah, really, Pringle. <laughs> really hoping that uh, off season three happens in 2025. I think it will. I'm pretty optimistic. Um, I think that Hitch was really disappointed that he couldn't put it on this year. Um, but there was, a lot, of, there was a lot of COD stuff happening this year, too. So It's what you know. it's 2024 is practice. 2025, I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand it now. I understand. All those now. previous eight years. Practice, I understand now. Which is cheating, Easy. by the way. So. Just cheating. lock in. Yeah. Yeah, cheating. Yeah. Just lock in. <laughs> Been cheating for the past eight years? I'm ready to play it legit now. I learned yeah, the game. I'll try. Yeah, I, you know what? I, I think I want to see, see just a couple more like ending bits. Like I like how the, the leaderboards look. You can move it around and stuff. That's, uh, that's really yeah, cool. Like the score. The page. I like that too. I like how that looks. Uh, I think the, uh, the upscaled textures look very nice too. I'm with that. Um, it definitely looks a lot more like Words of Rock actually does. Um, yeah, you can kind of see I, I with think, these textures here. The old ones are slightly bit more blurry when you're looking at them here. I'm going to zoom in even bit more. So I mean, in comparison, the they're way here. blurry here, man. Like, yeah, look, look, I mean, look, I, I, look. like I said, I noticed this without even thinking about it the other day. I was like, yeah. I was playing drums, and I looked Quite at the textures. Sharp. I'm like, shit, this is like 900p at most. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, so, quite sharp. Because I yeah, believe I they think, still are just direct rips from the console games, but these are just yeah. It's, it's a rip of uh, it's Warriors of Rock from PS3, Warriors of Rock. Oh, PS3 so, specifically. Okay, I believe so. That's what Matt ripped in the. Oh, okay. 
I maybe I should talk about this. Um, <laughs> you guys remember GHPC edition two? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Um. So the reason that got a lot of attention is because it had the look of how Clone Hero looks now, and that was really enticing to everybody. And this is 2016. Um. And so everyone was pretty hyped. I was like, damn, this looks really good. I'm going to play this when this comes out. I I'm going to stop playing GH3 PC. And um, the guy who was developing it uh, somehow was able to rip the textures and uh, decrypt them from the PS3 version of Warriors of Rock, and that's how they looked so good. Because before then, we were just working with, like, upscaled screenshots of Warriors of Rock, mm -hmm. but somebody broke into the game, or the guy couldn't handle how big the game was, and so he just dumped the game off and all the source code or something. Something along the lines happened. And I think somehow Matt was able to get the... Oh, no, no, no. We, a.k.a. me, Blue Chaos, Inventor, yes. Hop, H2O, yes. uh, and Matt, I guess, because we did the Warriors of Rock mod for Guitar Gear 3 PC, and we're, we're all, like, ecstatic. We're like, dude, we got the official texture. Let's fucking go. We got it from this guy. <laughs> we got it from this GHPC Ed 2 guy. He dropped off the face of the earth and he's not devving this game anymore. So let's make our let's make the, the Warriors of Rock theme like we always wanted to. And we did it. We could, we fucking worked our ass off and we did it. Um I contributed the star power texture and it looks like complete shit. <laughs> uh it looks fucking terrible. Um shout out to Wesley Donakin who improved very much upon that theme for Fast GH3. It looks really, really good now. If you haven't seen it, it looks like one-to-one -one with Warriors of Rock. Anyway, uh, more lore goes is that those are the same textures that are used in Clone Hero. Currently, those are the exact same ones, I believe, or at least it was used up until like version like 15 or 17 or something like that. But that's how Matt got the textures in the first place for the game is because hmm. a GHPC edition too. I think cool there's lore. like some... There's cleaner ways of getting the textures, and I think when RPCS3 dropped, you could texture jump. Uh, you could do a texture jump from uh, Warriors of Rock, and I think he just cleaned it up, and now it looks like he probably upscaled them because um, it looks really good. It looks way, yeah, way better do. now, it looks a lot cleaner. a lot better. It really yeah. does. So, yeah, I, I'm just hoping that this is a really good reset for five-fret players alike. I know it's going to be a good reset for me because, like, hey, everybody's going to be on the same slate. I'm going to try and go for full series and more. Um, and I don't know, I, I can yeah. see myself playing a lot more guitar just kind of casually, but I don't know. We'll, we'll see when it, when it gets there. I don't know if this is, if this comes out before Grand Theft Auto six, I'll be very surprised. I'll yeah, be because yeah, there's no, the there's no date yet. There is no date. No they date. just said sometime in 2025. Yeah. Oh, it's, I, what? It I thought ain't. it was like next week or something. You Whoa. would think, wouldn't you? But it's not. Oh. It's sometime in 2025. Uh, in the, in Second the blog post says. That being said, we are confident that a 2025 release is entirely manageable, although we cannot make any promises on a more specific release date. <laughs> so. I just, okay, no, that just, okay, that just killed all my hype. I don't care. Yeah, I'm we're going to have to get really yeah, hyped totally in, se fair. in seven or eight months Dude, that's when it. this eventually drops. That is entirely fair. No, I get I it. I just was, don't care. How, do, how can I was you care like, about that? I, I was floored when it was announced on the CSC, uh, CSCCS stream, and I didn't see anything about it online. Yeah, that was, my, that was my, my post too. was like the only hype about there's it lots of fumbles like, no, with that back. let's be honest i i'll yeah, yeah. There, myself and jp be... were the ones casting that tournament and we had to go through this entire list of, of all the changes and stuff like that i thought for yeah, sure there'd was... be a blog post that that, that would go yeah. like immediately where people could go like click I, the I link and go read it themselves the but ones. it was yeah, like over 24 hours later until the blog post I don't know why you wouldn't have the blog post ready to go as soon as the announcement's made on stream, but whatever. I'm not part of the team. <laughs> whatever. It is what it is. We're not, it's not coming out for many months anyway, so... It's I, not our really, game. Whatever. It's not, it's not our, our problem. Game. Not our game. Not We're our here problem. to consume exactly. it. We exactly. are here to consume Soon it TM. and critique it. Soon yes. I, I'm a fan of all games. I don't think there's a single game for me currently. I, I'm, I've, been hooked on, I, I've been hooked on GH1 and 2 lately. I play Yarg casually. I play Clone Hero. I play Yarg drums. Board. I was playing I play before Clone we started Hero, the episode. I play Clone Hero drums all the fucking time. Jason, yeah. you play Clone Hero drums all the fucking time. I was playing right? it before we got on here. You no, know, like, yeah, it is that type of thing. Thank God we have so many options, or yeah. else this this would be way more disappointing than <laughs> this would yeah. be way more disappointing than many things. Yeah. If this was like, our I'm only like, option. Whatever. I'm just gonna I'm I'm gonna keep playing Yard Pro drums. Like that's where I'm at right now. Um, you know? Janak, yes. that's where I'm at. Janak has been cooking. Yes. With Rock Band 3 Deluxe, his As progress bar, 
looks fucking ridiculous. These are other things to be hyped about. This is the beauty of being so tapped in to Guitar Hero and Rock Band. This is what happens when you break free of the mold that, hey, you know, Clone Hero's not the only game. I know that, like, there's probably World Tour Definitive Edition mods that I don't know about that are probably Definitely. really hype. I don't know. I think uh, we, I, I don't know if we t spoke about it on the stream, but it was like, uh, oh, they ported over the Metallica skins from Fortnite, and oh, really? now you can have a pseudo- 2024 yeah. remaster <laughs> I of did not know that. Metallica. Kind of I think that's really cool. And it cool. looks really good in game at the forum, like it, and like those the GH Metallica um, levels. It looks so good. It looked really really good. Here, so, real quick, I I have the a picture of Gen X progress bar up on the stream now. So hell yeah, yeah, dude. It's that's not good. just a regular progress bar like like yeah, Fortnite Festival just it. added. He he added more than what Fortnite Festival has. So you can see there's a break here where there's a bit of a gap. And then there's also little, little orange lines. Those are star power phrases, or I guess overdrive. Mm -hmm. Sorry. And then blue is the solo markers. So it, this is like this is a, a a complete view of the chart in a very condensed way. I think so it's really sick. neat. Dude, I wouldn't be surprised if one day he figures out how to implement a path into the progress bar. I wouldn't be oh, surprised. Oh, dude, if that he could implement that would be sort of nuts. Like, Can like you believe that? Optimal Ooh. path. Ooh. Like, 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 like a little overlay. Here. Jake, Jake is. <laughs> Yeah, dude. <laughs> like that? That'd be crazy. You, 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 can, you can make it an overlay, like on the, like on the highway. You could have like a little thing come yeah. up on the side of the highway, activate here, and like it's like a yellow like a, a, a yellow bar along the side, like outside of the highway. It's like activate here. No, how I long can, it should I can last? Visualize it like right now, based on what you're saying. You know, kind of okay, like a, like okay. on Band Hero when you're doing those like career mode challenges where it gives you a little section of the of the chart and it highlights it. Dude, Do that, but for imagine if it was like a path practice mode that didn't save your score, but it was like, hey, it, think of it like a road challenge mode. Like it, it yeah, replaces yeah. road challenge mode or something, or it's a branch of road challenge mode. It's like, hey, this ver this this uh this game mode is not gonna save your score, but you can use it to learn path. It, it gives you the best you can, score. Yeah. Ooh, and that's you can a cool look idea. at the score at the end, take a picture, like you can screenshot it or something, and like, yeah. That that'd be so cool, man. Quick that'd reminder so that cool. all scores done on deluxe are not necessarily valid on uh, yeah. Score Hero. Yeah, they're not so don't bother with that. Here. I saw Ooh. some other fucker up uploading Clone Hero uh, scores on on Clone Hero again. <laughs> he did a, he did <laughs> That's a, insane. He did a more than a feeling run on GH1, uh, the GH1 chart at least on Clone Hero. He was like ranked 200, so it wasn't a big deal. I would say it's really only a big deal if somebody starts stealing all the firsts because Clone Hero. But don't don't upload Clone Hero scores to Score Hero, guys. Don't do that. It's not made for that. You got to play it on the original game, original engine for that matter, even. Yeah. So speaking of games that aren't on the engine they're supposed to be, uh, someone came in my chat recently, and I have to throw this idea out to you guys because this is one of the coolest ideas I think I've heard in a while for the idea of like a custom chart. So I had somebody come through my chat and they said, hey, I've got this idea that I've never seen done. Would you like to take part in it eventually? And I'm like, hell yeah. So they're apparently a speedrunner and they want to take the inputs to a world record speedrun and turn it into a chart. Ooh, so that you can, yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, 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 right. So hear, Ooh, the, yeah. hear this out. So that you're playing the inputs for what it would be to do yeah, the speed cool. run for the game. So like, every, yeah. for an example, every time Mario jumps, we'll say that's an A press, which is green. Yeah, like, so every, every time, time you have to press so jump in the game, you press crazy. green or whatever. Bro, so they want to get it set up so that you can be I'm... putting the inputs while you're playing the chart, and it would actually go for the run. That's really cool for an idea. Ooh, that's I'd love to see really this come to fruition. That's a really idea. Yeah, I love that. I would that. say some, that. someone should do, like, backwards long jumps, yeah. or, like, carpet list with the pause buffering, or um, a flagpole Whoa. glitch from Mario Brothers 1, where you had yeah. to do a frame-perfect... Like, yeah, if you just put thing. the notes in the right place... Sorry, it's, it's more like this. You and can, then, like, you can like, chart that in real run. time. Overlay to yeah. run audio with the chart and everything and have it as a video background. Theoretically, Bro, it wouldn't be that cool hard idea. to do if you just open up Moonscraper and just let it ride, right? You can can yeah. you input shit like you, yeah, in you, real time? Yeah, you do inputs in real time and you would have to set the, uh, you would have to set the steps to something ridiculous so that it can be as accurate as possible so there's no yeah. step to it. Yeah, but the step I would be like one, one twenty eighth. That's a very creative idea. It that's is. actually yeah. really cool. Very and what, you would have to name. play it on like a Yarg precision mode that's like maybe a couple mm -hmm. milliseconds. Ideally, yeah, like, like was, ideally uh, that's what it would have to be. Back. Shout out to the King of Assists. That was their name. King very of nice. Assists. Yeah. Very nice. Shout out to King of Assists. Yeah. 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 That's, a, that's some fresh that's ideas. That's got my mind that buzzing. Never... That is a fresh idea. Yeah. That's really fucking cool. Yeah, speak, I love speaking that. Of like, Me too. Speaking of like speed run tricks. I've been watching Jay Prez for over two and a half hours um, <laughs> play Jordan. I've been, I've been watching him play Jordan trying to hit the second activation in the song. And 
um, you know, we've mentioned it previously on the on the pod, and last like, pod, tech, yeah, last pod. I mean, uh, with extended hit window, basically the the skinny is that it's a uh, uh, abusing the coyote timing, uh, to in order to hit a note as late as humanly possible, and so beyond just, what the game should normally yeah, allow. Yeah, beyond what the game should be allowed. Yeah, yeah. That, that's why it's called extended hit window. Is because you're giving it like eight more frames than you're allowed to. Nah, nah, you're basically like hitting a note. But still, yeah, three or four. Yeah, but it's basically like a note hit. It's coming up right now. I have hit. I have a shot on stream. What he's gonna do here? This last yellow, he's gonna try activating on it. Oh, he, he, that okay, one he was hit nasty. it there, dude. What if he hits the squeeze? If he live hits on, the squeeze, live on live as we're talking about it, then J Prez is a kindred spirit. Back end is gonna be a blue <laughs> orange chord. He wants to hit. He wants to hit the blue there, orange right? under star power. He's gonna do like a triple or quadruple strum at the end. Oh, he's so close. Oh, that was that was like one frame. I was about to say, me and Jay Press are curse. brothers, but only close, but closer. <laughs> and it'd lift up the shirt and be a beating heart oh, yeah. between us. It'd be like that. <laughs> yeah, we'd be, we'd, be, we'd be conjoined twins. <laughs> brothers only closer. That's closer. insane. <laughs> yeah, no, no, no. no. Yeah, I mean, like, the timing was perfect on that, talking about it. We've been yeah, watching, yeah. me and Jake have been watching uh, Jay Press do this for two and a half fucking hours. I got in here. This is the second stream we've done this to. Started. He did this yeah, like yes. three hours the other day. Yeah. Well, was that last yeah. night? We played Fortnite while we were watching him. Yeah, we're we, playing. We, yeah, we hit me the and zero Jake builds. choked in multiple duo wins. I'm yeah. pretty sure we like lost against like a father and son duo. There's Maybe. No probably. We got a second place. <laughs> Maybe two seconds. It was probably either. Big Justice. In, uh... Yeah, I was going to say Big Justice. Or it was the Rizzler. Oh, man. On yeah. two controllers. On two no, controllers. Alec, you, know how, you know how you said you love games? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, you know, we found out today that Eminem might allegedly hate games. Very allegedly. Oh, oh. dude, that is, a, that, is a, that is a dark thing to go into, If man. I'm being so okay, honest so, with you, I don't believe it. I don't believe it either. I think this is bullshit. But we have to talk I, about it. You know, yes, you know the yeah, Timmy Turner picture? It's like, please let this be real because it would be so <laughs> yeah, fucking yeah. funny. <laughs> That's how I kind of feel about it because, like, if bro was traumatized for being in Guitar Hero Guitar Live, I wouldn't blame him. I would not blame him, they dude. Booed that man that like game, crazy. That, super that game oh. was buns. That game was on was buns on execution. And Eminem is in the on disc set list, and he probably didn't like seeing the fucking booing. I don't okay. know, man. Hold on, hold on. If like that's the reason, if if that's the reason, why was Lose Yourself the debut song yeah. for Festival? Yeah, that's all this we need to talk about. Sense. That, that yeah. doesn't make any sense. It doesn't track. It, I don't get it. So I have it the just, tweet up now. It contradicts that completely. This, no, is, this is from Beast FN it. Creative. Nothing against you personally. I just don't believe this to be true. And you'll see why. Fortnite Festival news. To anyone asking about Eminem and Festival. Insider. Eminem does not want jam tracks and festival uh, of his songs at this moment. At the very end, take this with a grain of salt, as I cannot confirm this. This could also, be, this could also change in the future. So it's basically saying, they covered their tracks. I don't know, guys. <laughs> Somebody said this, and maybe he's an insider. I don't know. I, I just uh, unrelated. Then, no. that, I saw that somebody else tweet info... today. That that was like, yeah. it was like a three part tweet thread. It was like, sorry guys, I didn't do my job vetting this guy. Turns out that was a fake insider. Yeah, it wasn't that's, wasn't that the guy that's on screen now. Time. Wasn't the guy on screen now, but different guy, different false insider. I I I just don't see this happening because why the you, fuck you know what's... would he would he be the guy <laughs> to announce the fucking mode with a chart of a song Seriously. if he doesn't want to yeah. be in the game. Doesn't let's not even let's not bury the lead. Also, that there was um a, a jam track released in the store earlier yes, this week that, that was not yeah. supposed to be, mm -hmm. and happened, for some reason fit in a certain spot. It, it fit right between Lady Gaga's "Rain on Me" and I as his replay, which hey, that fits with rap god. R unless it's I like, after I or R R A uh, and then after I R A P. I know, so this unless is, it's this... a certain Nirvana song, I think that we're okay, okay dude. Yeah, <laughs> I uh, you know, know I was gonna say, brother. I was gonna say, if <laughs> people who aren't online are, if people who aren't online are wondering, hey, isn't that where Regulate by Nate Dogg would be? Well, you're right. You think Regulate was still in the list for some reason next yes. to the search, yes. way out of order. So, yeah. so I'm, I'm th I was thinking about this. It's like it, it's either Regulate misplaced or there's another jam track in the S's that isn't. You know, in that's, there yet. So maybe, somebody I mean, swapped. So, maybe the short names got switched. Mm. That store is switched. never yeah. alphabetical. That's the other thing, right? Uh, Most of that store is out of order. Yes. So that it could have been Rap God, but we're also stretching quite a bit because it could have just as well been like a new Selena Gomez tune. We don't fucking yeah. know. Yeah. This could be. I, complete I was gonna cult. say this is it a good old is. fashioned rumor. This is a good old it fashioned is. rumor. Is. There's yeah, no, we, there's no resolution. There's nobody this yet. gassing this up. We, we are the ones that are gassing it up because it's like it's too 
it's too good for it not to be a coincidence. Yeah, but very juicy. Hey, you know what? If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. It's the still same, pretty funny. It was the same day that Rap God dropped in the game for uh, the Spaghetti Grotto. <sighs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. Day. It's too good it's for too it not to be a man. thing. Too I, think, I think even Beast hopes that they're wrong, obviously. Probably. Yeah. I hope it's wrong, too. Yeah, I hope it's I wrong, but it would be so fucking funny if it was because Guitar Your Life. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would so, be yeah. awful. I gotta see if I could find this, because I saw this a, a few days ago. But whatever song was put into the store early had a placeholder ID, I got it, that legitimately yes. sits in-game between For the Night and Walk This Way, which both released this week. The placeholder ID is between them. Oh, which okay. Again, so because, because, okay, because the IDs are sequential in terms of release date. So yeah, theoretically, yeah. it's a song that was meant to come out this week, but got pushed. Yeah. Correct, which would mean Rap God, because literally it came out in the game came the same out, day. So yeah. it's, it's lining up pretty well. It's lining up. Um, I was going to say, I was told that the ID for Industry Baby, which came out last week, is nine. Yes, because it's been ID out there. It's nine. leaked at the beginning. Right. So, what the fuck? You're right. So that, okay, so that, that means that real. that... That means that the industry baby leak of the stems was, was real. real. That was, yes, real. was real. Holy fuck, bro. Yeah. Some kid, someone kid, someone said it was a kid lying for clout. And I was like, yeah, probably. It was and real. it was like, it's industry baby. It's, you know, it's not like a, a song we're yearning for in the game. Son but now if nine. it says the ID is nine in the game, that's so funny. Well, and that's what, so real. What other, what are, are there any other missing IDs from that low? Or anywhere yes. else throughout the list? Oh, yeah. Do we have yes. that? I mean, so have we that? have another from this week that came out that's between Walk This Way and Million Dollar Baby. Here's the list right here. I put it in the live chat. Um, we allowed to be looking at this? I'm just kidding. I mean, it's, it's no, in the that, game. This is probably public. Yeah. 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 It's not on Twitter. But, X, everything up. Everything's on X. Yeah, that's also Beast that put this out. Shout out to Beast yeah. FN. So, uh, yeah, same day. <gasps> whatever. Berserk. Whatever. Berserk. It could be. It could be Berserk. That legitimately well, could be. I mean, Isn't that an emo like, song? Yeah, yeah. The same, the same yeah. one that was in Guitar Hero Live. Yes. See, and I know for a fact Rhythm <sighs> Authors has like a backlog of charts that aren't released yet. Like I know that for a fact. That is true. That is true. Africa yeah, soon, there, right? There's no way that they're not consistently working on charts. Yeah, some, some they're, stuff. They're being just contracted. Gets, yeah, they're being contracted to work on charts every week. And who's to say that what they worked on back in fucking like April or something? Still has not seen the light yeah, of day. They, they could work on something like almost a year ago and then Fortnite be like, oh yeah, we're going to put this out next week. They'll be like, oh, okay, sounds good. Let's yeah, fine. Yeah. It's about time. What was it? According yeah. to Beast. Um, nothing new. According. Yeah, yeah, go, go This ahead, is David. another stat. This is uh, a stat that they released ooh, two days ago from when we're recording right now. Uh, according to Beast FN, they apparently have 168 jam tracks completed in the vault ready to release. Yes. Yes. Exciting. I mean, that's, yeah, that's exciting. Well, that makes um, you a, think, are they going to do a yeah, giant a drop a for the one-year anniversary? For the one-year anniversary? That, that's it's big coming. cope, I think. That's I not 168. Like, I mean, like, no, I mean not giant 168. drop as in like a dozen. 30. Oh, oh sure. I don't know. Sure. You're I'm thinking, thinking a, dozen? a dozen? Maybe. I can a, dozen a dozen would be fire. Yeah. How many do we have on release? 30? We have 30 on release, I guess release, like, the full, like, the reveal was like 30, but they put them out, like, over a set of, like, four or five days. It well, like no, until they talked to us. Total? And they gave to 40? us early. Yeah, they gave to us early, yeah. Shout out to Evan and Julia. Yeah, love Shout you Shout out both. to them. I remember Evan's tweets that day. He was like, if I have to hear the word joy to key one more fucking time. <laughs> 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 I'm looking kill, back at the, uh, the launch graphic. I know we pulled that up a few months ago. But I remember I'm just when there was checking. a daytime venue and the notes would be kind of hot pink. Yeah, they got rid yeah. of it. Oh, wow. Yeah, they got rid that, of that has not existed. Purple. That has not existed since season one. Yeah, and I just I'm kind of glad because they look on worse. Now on pad. Yeah. I I'm a big fan of that look. I, I am too. If I'm being completely honest, yeah. I, I really like the daytime look. I miss it. I, I like wish the... we could have that for pro mode personally. That would be really yeah. cool. Or like so, a huge changer or something. Mm -hmm. So you're I saying think, you want um, track customizability? I do. I do. Rock Band Four. I really so want that I. in a game like Fortnite. I don't think it's I don't think it's unreasonable. Well, we already. Told I think them it's actually make... surprising we don't have it yet. <laughs> yeah, we already told them you can yeah. make so much money selling track cosmetics, and I think they know that. Yeah. So yeah, I know. think I probably told I probably told the harmonics worker in the face. I was like, yeah, I'll pay sixty bucks if it looks like Rock Band too. Yeah, no, I'll I was it. there when you no, told you did. That, I was I was sure. there. Yeah. I remember we you saying that. <laughs> yeah. I know yeah, who you go. said it too. <laughs> and they were just yeah. like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, they're probably like, we hear you. 
Yeah, well, like, they we can't hear you. say they, they cannot confirm nor deny anything because that would you give it away one way or another. So they're like, my okay, <laughs> noted. It's in here now. <laughs> I mean, like I, I think I, I was just playing Rock Band Four. I, I literally was. I I was bored in my living room, waiting for the kids to go to sleep, and they're like all mopey, and I'll play a little bit of Rock Band and get, play them some tunes or whatever. And I was just like, yeah, you know what? The customization in this game, not too bad. It really isn't that bad. I think we need this kind of this level at the very least. That type of track skins. Track outfits, sorry. We need track outfits. <laughs> yeah, track outfits. Tra- yeah. Track fits. We need track outfits. I think we need like notes. We we need like note outfits, man. I I think uh, Guitar Hero Live was super creative when it had yeah for sure. Know, had a lot of personality. Hey, hey, throwback to that Christmas Highway, bro. That shit. Yes. Crazy. that was terrible. I think Nolan oh. FC painkiller with that shit. <laughs> No one that's actually crazy with that that, shit, there was I an event sevenfold one that was kind of not great if i remember correctly um uh, that one was not that bad i i didn't hate that one i think it looked kind of cool there are a lot uh, of them, yeah. man and you had to pay for them with whatever currency that yeah, yeah, yeah. i just double checked the video real quick yeah, okay yeah ahead, so uh yeah. festival 34 songs at launch yeah, you know you posting this what if they do do this again what if they do i mean the, they could do a giant drop for the one year anniversary yeah you're, you're not wrong. Thing. Look, he did do it. <laughs> Holy if they have crap. over a hundred, if they have over one hundred and fifty songs unreleased, who's to say? Oh, could God. theoretically they're all ready to go? Well, we don't know that. We know those are probably okay, in I'm, progress I'm, ones as well. So man, I can't so believe how many I'm songs? looking at this list nearly a year later. This is yeah, cold. This is like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like, how many songs are they doing free right now? They're doing thirty a week, right? So what if they did an entire week of new songs? I don't know. I think you're cooking that's with a, this one. I would be real. That's a cool cooking. idea. Cooking. Cooking. Yeah, that's... cooking. Yeah. Oh, the, yeah, Lil, Lil be... B. Lil B cooking. That's what yeah, it is. Yeah. Lil B. That would be. Ooh. We better get. We better get Winterfest wish two. No. <laughs> I, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't be opposed if it was the the same artist getting more songs, just for the. Yeah. Get some more Queens of the Stone Age. In we there. we get Kendrick Dude, Lamar, if, not like us. What? We get Imagine the, Dragons. Enemy. What? What? I if, don't know. Enemy be all sick. Right, all right, hear me out. Hear me out. What if we get like one or two more songs from each headliner artist this year? That'd be cool. I'd be down. That'd be lights. really cool. What if we get hit the lights? Maybe, maybe they're saving Ooh. it. There are still those weekend songs from that playlist that never dropped. Also that true. Come out. And I no, feel like that. Uh, I feel like they have to exist. Like they're gonna be in the game eventually. I feel like they have. I don't remember to. Those and ones actually. And we know that one of the leaked songs that's been worked on was a Lady Gaga song that's out come out because there is what Sour Candy was on the leaks. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. So oh. hmm. I think we crack the code, folks. Dizzy. You'll, you'll find out in a month. Yeah. Maybe, that song before. is awesome. I like Dizzy. Yeah, maybe get that we, shit in there. I don't know. I think I think we're on the song here. Actually, I'm not gonna lie. How about we get another song with Goon Rock? I'm down. Party Rock Pause. is in the Goon Rock. <laughs> Bro, that guy was like a decade ahead. Right? Imagine if an artist today came out with the name Goon Rock. Can't do it. <laughs> Can't do it. Can't do it or anymore. Be it's ruined. For all the wrong reasons. Just okay. No, yeah. no, no. There you go. He can come back out as Ultimate Goon. That'd be amazing. Ultimate I, Gooner. You know, now that now we're the fans now we're like of Goon Rock are called Gooners. Talk, <laughs> I, we're gonna go oh a little God. bit more family friendly. You like that pivot? <laughs> Nick A thirty made a tweet the other day, uh, talking this. about. Yeah, we're talking that I I quote tweeted and kind of popped off a little bit, but um, he's basically the gist of it was him talking about how Fortnite creators get like a one week grace period of monetization and how that needs to change. It, it needs yeah. to change, and yeah, that's okay. super fucking bold. To expand on that, one week of monetization for like songs that are copyrighted in the game, like, like when a new, new a new jam tracks come out, people like us, uh, Epic Partners, we get one week of immunity from copyright strikes, copyright blocks, whatever, uh, whenever the songs first come out. So, like, the, the songs that just came out this past week, I don't even remember what they were. Like, Walk This Way, for example. Right now, I have two videos on my channel. They're monetized. Monetized fully. I don't get a lot of money from them because they only get a couple thousand views. But, like, for somebody like Nick A30, if he wants to upload that shit, that's... Hundreds of thousands of views, surely, and then all Bro, after that, it? all of it goes to to whoever owns the copyright. Yeah. I I will say I'm proud of making a hundred bucks off of my Paradise City site read FC. W. I, Yay, I made a hundred nice. bucks off of that. Hundred bucks in it's one like, week. Love it. Like fuck nice. yeah, I can go gas that's up a, my car. That's honestly really good like, for <laughs> yeah. you, like on on YouTube. You know, I could go. Oh yeah, dude. Now now that like YouTube is like algorithm based, I just kind of treat 
every platform like well, it's you, TikTok. YouTube it's like, is dead. A, like the problem is YouTube is like dead for uh, large views on rhythm games. That's the problem. Yeah, it's, just, it's hard it's with rhythm dead. games. Yeah. I found it is that what once it is. I stopped uploading every day, my views have actually kind of gone up on a per video basis. Because it feels like it's yeah. more more of a special thing, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, another video, no, Dude, tomorrow, that's, whatever. That's what that's exactly how I approach YouTube uploads now. Yeah, you cut I out mean, massively I... for us, but the video will be fine, probably, hopefully. Yeah, I, I, I mean, you stopped. I'm of the too, opinion so. that uh, it's very difficult to make videos as a rhythm game creator work if you want to focus on gameplay, and if you want to talk about things that matter, uh, it's hard to get people to care. Because yeah. getting people to care is really, that's the hard part, really. Right? Conveying because I've been talking about this stuff for years, and unfortunately, uh, a lot of times, I, I, again, kind of feel like I get looked at as the conspiracy theorist out in the street, like just waving a sign around, when I'm just like, hey, no, these are actually things to think about, and these are important for if you care about this stuff, and then it just kind of just this goes away. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. Uh, it's frustrating. There's no way you're just sipping out of what is that a 1.5 liter? It's it's one of the fucking 1.5 liters, bro. That's it crazy. was two for three bucks. I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna grab. Is that a, Dr. Pepper? That's CZ. It's just Coke Zero. Of course, man. There's I just CZ. like the label list. That way, you have yeah. some like you know yeah. mystery yeah, about it. it. Mystery to it. Yeah. What is this weird brown liquid? I yeah. don't know. It's cocaine cola. <laughs> Switched from the Fry's IPA to <laughs> something a little danker. What's, what's wrong? What's wrong, buddy? What's, what's going on? You just fell. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> it's, that scared it's, the it's, shit it's, out of me. Like, it's, surely it's n nothing. Surely yeah. it's nothing. Yeah. It's surely right. fell? Don't call me Shirley. Oh, shit. Every Saturday, I have a, uh, we watch scary movies. Yeah. Um, and so, last night, I, dude, last night, we had, we, had, we watched back-to-back -back bangers. I don't know about the second movie, but the horror in the second movie was pretty fucking scary. Uh, sorry, I pivoted big time from this. That just scared the shit out of me, and I don't know what it was. <laughs> that happening after watching this, probably some of the scariest movies I've seen in a minute. Um, I, I'd be yeah, scared. No, uh, yeah, I watched this movie called The Dark and the Wicked. It came out in like 2020. Uh, but it's if you guys are into scary flicks, watch this shit. Watch it. It's like old, it, It's almost like a. Oh man, it is unbelievably eerie and just fucking terrifying the it is terrifying and, the and some of the scenes go on for way too long and you're unbelievably unbelievably uncomfortable during this shit made four hundred and twenty two thousand dollars at the box office this is the I horror promise effect. you this is the type of horror we're talking banger. about no I those are the best type of banger. horror horror movies the ones yes. that aren't made to be a box office success just made for the love of the game yeah now something now the second movie that i watched something that we can relate with is a korean okay korean horror is fucked too okay uh, it is about these live streamers that go into a, they go, this is 2018. So it was a 2018 POV of what a live stream is on like super obnoxious. And it's just like, stop talking. Like the, these characters are like borderline unlikable, but like it's, they, they use like a bunch of GoPros and shit. It's like found footage, that type of thing. But my God, the, the monsters in that movie, you, oh my fucking terrifying. It was called, uh, like oh it. god, uh, uh, Ganjum, Ganjum Haunted Asylum. That's how you spell it. Can you need a spell check on Gun that one? Okay, it's G O N J I A M, Haunted Asylum. If you can't spell Gun haunted or haunted asylum, asylum, you need to open a book one, every now and then. <laughs> <laughs> but dude, South Korean horror never misses, never ever misses. The, some of the, I think like the last 20 minutes of this movie is the most terrifying shit I've ever watched. Yeah, not like just on the... just like on a surface level, not psychological horror, just straight up horror. Mm. The, it is the most move like movie horror, like turned up to like a hundred. It's so good. Mm. Well, I'm it's interested. so good. Kind of past the yeah. season, but I'm 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 interested. Just, I want to see movies, I want to no, see what no the 2018 season. streamers look like. Yeah, bro. I mean, like they, they're just like, hey, we have a bunch of GoPros. You you'd think that the movie is sponsored by GoPro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Yeah, I'm not, yeah. not a not a horror film person myself personally. I like. Em. I get it. Yeah. I get it. I, I get like them. I totally understand. It's because I, I'm, I, I feel I'm like big I, on comedy I, and documentaries. That's what I like. Oh, documentaries are my shit. Let me some. No fucking way. This was free. This is fucking free to watch on YouTube Premium, and I've paid four bucks to rent it on. <laughs> on <laughs> dumbass. Yeah. Dumbass. Unbelievable. Yeah. Listen, I was money for something free. <laughs> God damn it. 
Fuck. Uh, free on Tubi as well. I I Oops, cannot. Sorry. Oh, you know what? No, 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 I didn't pay four bucks for it. It was on Prime with ads. Ah, so you're fine. I missed out on yes. I missed you out on six. Time. I missed out on six minutes. Yeah, six, well, sign language. six minutes of six life, minutes. man. That's well. Yeah, I, I at least got pal. to get up, get up, get a drink, get a snack, and then sit right back down. God, what was that? It was that Justin Timberlake movie where you paid for shit with minutes of your life. Oh, in time, in yeah. time, in time. I went to the theaters to go watch that shit. <laughs> Yeah. I remember that movie. Yeah. Yeah. I, have that, I have that as an Xbox 360 theme. Oh, yeah, coffee. I got the theme on Xbox too. <laughs> the I remember same. that. <laughs> I was like, minutes. holy shit! <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was like it was like this like heads up display kind of thing, and like the rich people were gambling with their money, and like you had to pay like the cover charge just to walk into the casino, and it was like fifty thousand minutes or whatever, and they just take take time away from your life. But these people have like five hundred years on them, so it's like you're you're immortal. Essentially, that was an interesting oh, concept. That was for a Amanda Se uh, Seyfried, yeah, and Justin Timberlake. Justin Timberlake. Killian Murphy yeah. was in here too. I bet he was one of the rich. Yeah, this people. is a star-studded movie. Yeah, Damn. in time, 2011 film. That's crazy. Jeez, that was 2011. 2011 Ooh. film. Jesus Christ. Speaking mm. of uh, things that happened a long time ago, uh, this is on a personal note. Halo Two turned 20 years old yesterday. Oh, I saw you posting about this today. Um and. Something that's really cool that I will not stop talking about uh, is Halo Dig Site. Halo Dig Site is uh, a team comprised of former, or not former, you know, like old, old Halo developers with fans that are dedicated to restoring cut content. And so they restored and worked together to make a complete recreation of the E3 demo of Halo 2. That's so fucking the cool, E3 bro. demo. It's That's like so for like four or five minutes tops, but it was like the cool. Like growing up, I was like seven like years old watching thing. this. Yeah. I was watching this on on uh, X Play probably. I was watching this oh on X Play on G4 or yeah whatever G4, and uh, I was like, damn, I can't wait for Halo Two to come out. And then obviously, you know, with with how game development goes and when when you're crunched for development time, it's not going to be the exact same as what you saw in the in that E3 demo, but I waited 20 years. Wasn't the E3 years, demo like E3 essentially demo. a different game than what actually? It was released. basically it was like on rails type thing, and basically they said they had to scramble to put that together for E3 to get people mm -hmm. hyped for Halo Two, and it worked. And there are multiple multiple problems with that build. If you veered off the the fucking straight line that they had scripted for you, the game would crash. Yeah, from so what they, I, the, the I guy watched a couple of video documentaries about this, like the YouTube yeah. documentaries, it was it was pretty much held together with like you know gum and duct tape and you had to do it exactly yes. exactly how it was like, like presented that's like how it was a lot of E3 demos like were though that's how a lot of E3 like, demos yeah. were like, any... they were held together with duct tape yes yeah and I kind of miss that charm of seeing yeah, we lost, really unfinished shit yeah because but it's, Nintendo, it's long lost well, and gone now Nintendo started doing Nintendo Directs and they were like oh we don't need to do E3 anymore we'll just copy Nintendo and I that's miss what they E3 all do now. so much man I know I, I always E3 wanted so to go and I'm never going to be able to go because it doesn't exist anymore it's so sad. Nope. I at least went to E for all and played World Tour early. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, okay. This is a really random experience that I'm assuming that none of you have done, but I'm going to ask anyways. Did any of you, when you were younger, go buy an EB Games and think that it said E3? Because yeah. I definitely did. Yes. Uh, yes, I yes, didn't, yes, I yes, didn't yes. think that because I remember it being called Electronic Boutique. I remember it being Ooh. called that before EB Games. I but remember. EB still exists in Australia. But you're right. I, I definitely had that thought in my head. I remember point. the B like being slightly away. So I'm like, is that just an E with like a slash in the middle? Then a three. <laughs> so it's like the E3 yeah. store. Yeah. Like, yeah. Games have, for have, games have early. Cool video games there. Yeah. Yeah. I remember when my I, local mall, I've never seen EB games. Um, GameStop bought EB games mm -hmm. and it just became a GameStop. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, yeah GameStop is the only game store I remember. You guys remember I never Frank had Poland? an EB games near me. I do Funko remember Land. Funko Land. Hell yeah. God, yes. Yeah. GameStop bought Yo. them too. Awesome. <laughs> okay, so when I had my first Nintendo, I'm really showing my age here. There used to be mail-in catalogs for regular Nintendo games from Funko Land where you could just, you know, send them the money and they'd send you the game in the mail. And it's like, that was it. Wow. Buy Mega Man that way. Fucking crazy. Nice. Like that's thinking back that, to like way, to way before internet. Yeah. Shit, dude. Funko Land was the shit. They, uh, I was going to say... They had decent you, prices, you too, in, for the time. You bringing that up reminds me of when you had to call somebody up, Nintendo Power, for a guide. 
Oh, yeah, be bro. like, I can't beat Castlevania 2. What do I do? Oh, you have to go to the leftmost corner of the level and crouch for 10 seconds. And then a tornado will pick you up and you win. If you've, if you've <laughs> Just never... Just think of the ABGN video, bro. That's exactly yeah. what it is, yeah. <laughs> if you've never done it, check out online. There's videos of, like, the training they had to do, the counselors. Oh, it's great. And, like, it's so good. The footage is unbelievable. And these guys love it was their done jobs by like a, like a news team, right? I saw a video about this not that long ago, but by like CBS or ABC or something like that, doing it like a, a story on it. Yeah, back yeah, in like yeah. The late 80s, early 90s, or whatever. It's so, so cool. Sorry, I yeah. went back into the I went back into the the chat and I see the the, the fucking monster from Gunjum. <laughs> I know exactly what that thing sounds like. Oh. <laughs> you see, I don't. It's still gonna be a secret to me whenever I go watch it. So if you go oh, watch it, yeah, you oh, should just go oh, watch it. Oh, right. Gunjum style. Oh. Oh, let's go, Jim. Hey, who'd you vote for if president? I'm just kidding. Anyway, <laughs> anyway. I, had to, I had to break it up. I had to break that's it up a, somehow. That's a great way to just like, hey, who'd you vote for? You hey, first man, time, who'd you, you vote first for? Time chatter, you first time chatter, brother? You first time chatter? Yeah, Dude, acting like a first I, time I chatter. Who'd you vote for? Who'd you vote Dude, for? Dude, no, no, no. It was worse this view. It was like, what do you think? And yeah, I was like, now it's I'm like, not, I'm not talking opinions. about this, man. That's a way worse question. Yeah, that's a way worse question. It's like, yeah, man. So, what do you think? Shut the fuck up. Yes, <laughs> I didn't I, say that. I'm playing. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna pay this attention is a Wendy's, to that. Sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> yeah, this is a Wendy's. I really dislike that people ask that question specifically to find out if they'll like you or not. Like, yes. they don't actually really care. They're they just like you or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's the vibes it's, here? And I, yeah, I, what's the vibes I feel here? like I feel like most people that would be asking that are on the team who won, and they want to see if you're a libtard. And if they want to, if they want to fuck with <laughs> yeah. you, bro. Yeah, which yeah. unfortunately, hey, you, libtard as fuck right yeah. here, baby. Woo! Yeah, yeah. You can, you can, you can shit on all of us for for being on the losing side of things, I suppose. If you That's want, good. if you want to, I, sure. Yes. Cool. Have yeah, fun. Cool. Guys are Election beast. news. I'm not too concerned over at this point. I'm just glad that it ended, and I'm just. Moving. I'm done. I'm moving on. I'm That's glad that there's not an insurrection. Everything. Yeah. Again, yeah, that's cool. I mean, you guys doing just... anything January sixth? Uh, I'm busy that day. I do have plans. I think you know what they are, though. I'm gonna make some be there too. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I know what they are too. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll, we'll we're doing we'll that circle Fortnite back chapter this. two remix type beat. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah, we'll yeah, circle that's back around this yeah, on yeah. Fortnite. Yeah. Yeah. yeah Fortnite. Do a little remix. <laughs> <laughs> Our own remix. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We gotta stop. We're gonna get. We're gonna visit by the FBI. We're gonna demonetize in this video. Is this even monetized? No. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll buy a singular Krabby Patty. We, uh, we don't even have that sucked. much money. I'm sorry. I don't even that, think we have that, that much. That on thing the, was we're not so monetized. We make zero dollars. <laughs> oh yeah, we're not. We're not. We don't have a, that many subs yet, do we? On the YouTube channel, do we? Oh, we we could be eligible for it. I just haven't done it yet because tax reasons and like yeah. we want to set it up in a way that oh, benefits yeah, yeah, all of true, us and true, true, true. you know whatever. Speaking of taxes, let's go back to the election. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding yeah man who'd you vote for you know what not that not the one who's gonna, <laughs> who's gonna increase tariffs by 60 percent in all electronic goods that's definitely not part of the reason why i thought maybe i should go buy all my pc parts yeah, right now go, before a 60 percent tariff is is, is, Fuck, a, is right. imposed on china and everything that comes from china especially oh, yeah. uh things that are electronics my all the chips the cpus the rams the Do motherboards do you see them. why I am focusing on just doing things for myself and like having fun with yeah. shit? Like the people have been live. real, man, That's bro. I'm gonna tell you, this is me just laying shit out. People have been real shitty to me this last week, and I'm just kind of over it. And like, I'm gonna be the guitar villain. I'm just done, right? Like, fuck, Copyrighted. fuck guitar. Just, fuck the guitar hero, man. Let's just be the guitar fuck villain. The guitar. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta vibe. Just fuck but it. Evil Let's just fuck the guitar. Instead. Yeah. Hey, when is Urgh. when is Activision gonna release Guitar Villain? Will Red Octane make a new Les Paul for that game? Who the hell knows? Where the that's, what is that's what they're that's we're holding onto the patents for. Hello, Red Octane. Hey. Are you 2028 listening? Guitar Villain yeah. comes out. That's been the oh, plan imagine all at Game along. Awards. Imagine at Game Awards are like 20th anniversary Guitar Hero's coming back. I pray Whoa! God, but it ain't gonna happen. I mean, <laughs> I mean that's that's the perfect type of anniversary that they could wait and for. And then Jeff Keighley comes out. Wow, that's so great! Guitar Heroes back, everybody. Anyway, <laughs> we have another world. Anyway, spot. Be sure to comment in the chat if you want to win a Steam Deck. <laughs> if you want to win a Steam Deck, yeah. Guitar or, Heroes or, back, or guys! Isn't that ally. great? Guitar Hero for Steam Deck. Wait, that actually sounds. Oh, oh wait. You oh, I got that, that shit set up. Yeah, it's not bad. I've got mm -hmm. that shit set up. It, dude, it's actually so easy to set up because you can just run it through. 
you're running it through basically Steam big picture mode. You plug in a Rift Master, yeah. you plug in a guitar. Oh, it's I just an X input controller default. Yeah. You just go you just go hit the space button and then you fucking you uh you just map it in the game. Easy. That's it. Hell yeah. So nice. You get eight hundred FPS on a Steam Deck. That's that's, that's good. That's not bad at all. That's, that's really good. good. You, yeah. you need I play at five hundred. Yeah. I play at five hundred. On drums, I crank it, even, I crank it, it down a, even it's lower. It's a 720p screen on the Steam Deck? It's 800p screen. Well, actually, okay, I don't know. Enough. The OLED is different. OLED's different. Oh, I have one um, of those. I, I have an LCD. Is. Steam Deck OLED resolution. Like, it's See, something we're doing weird, like 11 fact checking. something, right? Uh, 1200 by 800. Thanks, Jamie. Mm. You're welcome. Let's talk about Joe Rogan, folks. Yeah, who'd you vote for? Joe Rogan. Yeah, voted for <laughs> I know, yeah, I know you. It is so crazy about how he was five years ago interviewing Bernie Sanders, being like, "Hey, I think I might vote for you." And now we're here. No, I, I, crazy, I, uh, guys. I saw. A Bro, thing. He used to have. Uh... Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was just gonna say, like, I saw a thing where they they were saying people were like, "We need our own Joe Rogan," and they were like, "Guys, you did have. We you, had him. You, you had. You had him. You lost him. He's we let gone. him go. You literally you lost him, him, bro. You lost him. You literally had him. He had I Kyle had, Kalinske okay. on on the they, show they, for two different election specials." Yes, yeah. he did. Secular talk. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. he, lo he loved Bernie. Who? Hey, I'll just throw out, I love what he said recently, Kyle. He's like, hey, 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 hey. I think the left needs somebody like a Jon Stewart. They need their own celebrity who's really loud, who will get people feeling controversial. I actually love that idea, personally. Fuck it. If that's what the world is now, where we just have to have celebrity be president, it's, I, uh, Jon Stewart's a hey, good, we ball, good pick. Bro. Not gonna we lie. Ball. I would just love, we ball. you know what? You know what I would love? Yeah. I'd love to actually have conversations again and not just have people yelling. I agree. Yeah, well, you... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> why are you guys no. doing well, that? Bro, I mean... Robble, hey, man. Robble, robble, You're robble. killing babies. <laughs> well, dude, like, so, like, literally, literally, there's no two There's no two ways about it. It's like society's fucking ruined since we all got locked in and nobody... It's been so cooked. Nobody could beat each other's ass over saying some <laughs> dumb shit. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. We all got really comfortable online. We all got yep. very, very comfortable oh, yeah. online. And some people got too comfortable and i'll leave it theory. at that i'll literally just leave it at that people got too comfortable all right don't get mm -hmm. too comfortable in my chat they say hey pandora get casey lynch i bet it's pink you know what i mean like yeah, they get David, too comfortable cool it i, I, I know what you're <laughs> <gonna> <laughs> the, exactly call, the call out's about. insane i know what you're making with those ice cubes i know where you're we're sourcing that's the, the insane the no cubes. why did you bring that one up that's the that worst one's one. insane i won't that say that one the whole is context. the worst one we do not talk about that one i forgot about that one that's the one that sticks in my brain Man, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't be sorry. It's not yeah, you. I, I tried it's to bring it lighthearted. He's in my chat, you know, too. So, yeah, who did you vote for? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> Stop! That's what I voted how, for. How, how Shut the fuck up. Stop! We were recording an hour and 22 minutes. Wasn't the last one really long? It was. Yeah. It was, was like almost two hours. About at this point? I have one more thing to talk about, and that's okay. something to do with Alec. Look at what's on the, the back of Alec's wall back there. Oh, do you yeah. notice something new and different? <laughs> Hey, look, 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 there's something in a different universe right here. Hold up. Yeah, this Whoa, is an alternate world universe, universe world, tour world tour guitar. Look, look at that shit. shit. It's so nice. It's a fucking they, gray scale. It came out like it, that instead. It's a silver burst. That's if so sick. If you look at it extremely close right here, the original color might still be there. Yeah. And maybe a little bit right here, but everything else, this is, this is fucking black and white filter. I love it. The black and white it. filter onto it. That's Basically, so how this happens is that this gets exposed to way too much light in the window, sitting in a window somewhere, and it's been like a decade, 15 years plus. It's like, been UV bleached to shit. UV bleached. Mm. Yeah, and it looks like right here, oh, you can see it. You can probably see that adhesive. Yep. Oh, a little bit, Goodwill yeah. Sticker. Oh, yeah now that looks like a Goodwill shape, sticker. Yeah, a Goodwill sticker, 100%. I already Google got it gone. hooked up. I already You're got lucky it hooked that... up with the goat. Let's go. Oh, perfect. Again? You're lucky that sticker wasn't on there before it got sun faded, because then you'd have a, little, a rectangle of it being orange still. Then you're fucked. It's gross. There, there's some of them that come up that come up on eBay that have the stickers on them still that, that are sun faded like this. So if you ever rip off those stickers, it's going to look terrible. Yeah. It'll be orange and also you know white. Maybe Just nobody has a little played spot, on this. little birthmark. <laughs> yeah, birthmark. <laughs> <laughs> it feels nice. I feel like nobody, I don't think anybody ever played on it. I Dude, I have so. some like I have some like rough face. There's plate. no fucking way. Like, Next bro. step is just getting a new neck in there with so you Look have the full Gracie guitar. That shit's what been the fuck destroyed. Hap what happened to this thing, man? <laughs> what happened? What happened Somebody, to this some kid was Seriously. fucking around. Hold on. Yeah, this thing was cool. I want to shout out Jake for sending me the uh, 
uh, sending me oh, the fucking at, link for this. Look at this one, man. Damn, oh, dude, like that's, that's what my GH, one of my GH5 uh, faceplates look like. Yeah, like, oh I don't know what the fuck's God. going on here. What I don't the know what hell? this is. What happened to Bro, that who jizzed one? on that? I don't know what this is. Someone I ran why. over that, actually. This, th yeah. this was sent to me by somebody from my chat, LK3. They're like, yo, I have faceplates. Can I send you faceplates? I'm like, yeah, I guess. You oh, can yeah, faceplate. Face no, he did, no, like, no, yeah. he doesn't say, can I send you faceplate? He just goes, he just face says faceplate. Yeah, he just, yeah, he just says faceplate. Faceplate, faceplate. I'm like, here's the, here's the P.O. box, man. Faceplate. And he sent me four faceplates. This is one of them. Don't know what the fucking story tell. is here. It's gross. I can't tell. It looks like either ash, like someone jumped on ashtray on it, or that it's like, uh, maybe like residue? It's, I have no idea whatever could have happened to make it this way. It fe it's hard. It's, it's almost like crusty on top, but I can't flake oh. it off. It's it's almost as if the plastic has like deteriorated. Like whatever was put on here ate the plastic up. And See, also one of the worst part about those faceplates too is that like I tr I tried to find a way, like an easy way to like like sand them to get like the original black plastic that that gets like painted over in the factory, and like. Mm -hmm. Like it, it was really hard because like you could go with like a really tough grit and sand it, but if you're not careful, that thing's permanently scratched. Like you're not going to be able to use like uh like a more fine paper to uh like polish it up and everything. Yeah, it would take a like, lot of just, effort to make it a nice a black like, like mirror finish. Yeah. And not only that, but because the faceplate because it has tabs, like when you're standing it up, like it's really easy to accidentally break the tabs because of all the pressure. Like when you're yeah. using like an orbital sander, you know, like you're putting a lot of pressure on this yeah, thing. Probably, so yeah, it'll it'll flex it. And then somebody suggested, like, why don't you try acetone to remove the paint? That shit just ate the fucking plastic. So, like, there's no good way to hey, do these things. Maybe that's what all. happened. Yeah, I don't know. It's true. I, you know, it's I just true. realized I, I, I have a kitted out RCM Wii guitar. You just put this on it. Ooh. Yeah, perfect. There you go. <laughs> yeah, just swap the faceplate. And then I just, just the faceplate. Yeah, perfect. On there. Yeah. yeah. It does have the, well, it does have the white, I, I white frets. Be, I need to do it very, very carefully, and I'm not going to do it right now. Yeah, the okay. way that you said, yeah, yeah, I really thought you were about to say, who'd you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, who'd you vote for? <laughs> <laughs> I found out that Jill Stein won a state, uh, won in a city in Maine. That's she crazy. She won in That's one crazy. city in Maine. I've never heard of the city in Maine. So that goes to show a you. Small, a small little city. Wow. A very a small little city. She won by like twenty votes. It's that's crazy. crazy. That means like that's like a town of easily like four hundred people. Congratulations, Green Party, for your first ever electoral win. Congratulations in yeah, one I city. I thought that shit was that shit was insane. I was like, no fucking way. That's, <laughs> no that's fucking some bizarre shot, shit, man. Dude. Have you have Very you guys bizarre. have you guys seen that uh this like old piglet game is like taking over Twitter right now? <laughs> I've been I seeing know exactly the what you're game. talking about. Th that yeah, horror esque like, piglet so, game. So Jason. So Jason, uh, it started. It started out. Someone was. Yes. Yeah. Link it. Bro, look, at, look at this. The shit. gist of it. <laughs> the gist of it is that for some reason there was a movie tie-in video game for Piglet's big movie, and okay. on PlayStation Two and GameCube. And for some reason, there's parts in that game that makes up a, a majority of the game, and the music sounds like like Resident Evil. Yeah. Okay. The music the sounds like the game looks like Resident Evil, and the atmosphere is like Resident Evil. And so people are going like, oh, hell no, nah. Piglet took 40 Benadryls. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that type of shit. You know, it's the, it's yeah, the like meme the, where Spongebob like, is like, in that Silent Hill 2 room. Like, 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 <laughs> I have like, it up like, on the Benadryl stream now. I'm just going to make this video. It gets dark. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, dude, it's so funny. I think like, uh, pixelated yeah, smile If, if any Vine Sauce was man. streaming it earlier, what do you, I think he's done now. Dude, it's, it, it's just so funny. I think like the name of the the name of the uh the track in the OST is called like foreboding or something. Yes. <laughs> foreboding. Yes, yes. yeah. And it's just the most eerie music for a I just played this video about for, for, for the folks. Feel free to feast your eyes on this. <laughs> yeah. Guys, what the fuck happens in this game? <laughs> X Falcon. This this tweet's so funny. Very real, by the way. It this looks ain't a shit fake. post. It looks fake. Jason, it looks fake. Right? This is a yeah, piglet it game fake. for three year olds. This looks like some UEFN, t U UEFN type shit. Yeah. Oh, this you, looks you better, fake. You better believe that a bunch of people out there now are going to make like fan horror games of this in Unity now. Like, probably that's absolutely. What's gonna happen. This that's this what's has gonna motion happen. for the next week. It's gonna it's gonna be this like the super fucking pure. like dude like the SpongeBob horror games. Alec, do you remember when you when you speed ran uh th that one SpongeBob game, the the ketamine one? What was that? Oh, Mr. Krabs! Mr. Krabs yeah. uh, smokes ketamine. Yeah, and, I yeah. I, I speed ran it on a on a trackpad. And yeah. 
Yeah, because I watched the Moist Critical video where he's like, yep. I, I speed, I got the world record on Mr. Kraft. <laughs> yeah, I remember, I remember that arc. The world record. Yeah, and I, I played it, and I was like, dude, this is nah, so dude, fucking fun. Remember, you, you, were, you were about to you were about to win, and then the game crashed, and you got up the plank then. <laughs> yes. Beat him. Yeah. Horrible ass yes. Unity game. Oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh man! Oh yeah, Mr. Krabs. Oh, uh, so yeah. good. There's an HD remaster so of that shit. Oh, oh yeah, dude! Oh, we got another one. We got another one. Got all these for a hundred bucks. No dongles. Blue dude. Dude gets a blue jag. He's got a blue oh, jag, shit. a Warriors of Rock guitar, well, and a Hefner. Yep. Oh yeah, we Just all got look mentioned. at your guys' yeah. mentions. Hey, there's a, there's a Dr. Pepper on the ground. Hundred bucks. Not Pepper. bad, actually. Not bad. A blue jag, a Hefner, and a, and a looks like a PS3. Warriors of Rock. Okay, I have to open an image. And I can't I tell, actually. In. If I zoom all oh, the way in. Be... Start and select on that Hoffner. Yeah, that that's, implies I think that's PS3. Yeah, PS3. That's the... Oh, that's yeah. a PS3 Warriors of Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah because it has the, the, the player LEDs above the yeah, star And the, 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 uh, the Jag can't really tell. But... So the good thing about the Jag is that at least that can connect like to his PlayStation, yeah. I'm assuming. Yeah, I'm and assuming they're all PlayStation. PlayStation. No problem. If not, it can connect to your Xbox One, no problem, or your Xbox Series as well. So. Yeah. You can probably sell it for as much as you purchase all these for, and then you have a Hoffner and a War oh. Warriors of Rock guitar for free. And you I want to use share... that uh, for festival. Hey, hey. Yeah, he's got festival on in the background. Yep. yep. Mm -hmm. well, I don't know if we have anything more else to say, but I saw this really awesome Reddit post. Like genuinely, it was this guy who had an Explorer uh, uh, Warriors of Rock build, and it looked beautiful. You know what I'm talking about, Jake? Have you seen no. this? Um, I'm trying to figure out if it was on the GH. Explorer uh, so Warriors of Rock build? Yeah, so it, he, you know, hmm. Cobalt, uh, Cobalto, I think that's what he goes by. Is that the and decomp or the, the whatever, GH, no, GH no, Warriors he, of Rock he, PS3 Plus? It was mod? the war, he was doing like Warriors of Rock Arduino, and he's like, this shit sucks to mod, but I'm going to go all out. So he had like STLs 3D printed of wings. Oh, that's what you're talking guitar. about. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. for the so guitar itself. Guy, yes. Oh, yeah, dude, I found it. I found it. Oh, my God, this, this fucking, this guitar looks nuts. Here. This was yeah, the, posted the, the, the by the principal wings, right? Cobalt, the Cobalt made. This is posted by yeah. Budian oh Budian Mo. Budin Mo. I'm trying to get the link for this thread. Okay, here it is. Yeah, that's Where's the rocket they, they were posted about this on the Sand Troller server. Yeah, they were that posted about That is beautiful. The that's cool that's, as fuck. I look at that and I'm like, that's what could have been. That's actually yeah. what it could have been. Yeah, it, it, this is what would have happened if Activision didn't uh, kill Guitar Hero when they locked in. They could have had customizable wings, and besides just so... those pre-order axe wings, which were cool, but this is way cooler. That is so, so sick looking. Red Octane could do this <laughs> if they came too. back. Yeah, uh, if only. Dude. Yeah, if only. Th that, Hurry up. That dark, like, <gasps> mahogany painted deck. I know, like, the neck, kinda goes too. Yeah, they, I they, said, they said what they used in the Sand Troller server, but I... It was like a, like yesterday, I think. So I don't, can't find it, but yeah, yeah, yeah that's cool. I made the guitar on mechanics and Arduino with molded buttons and three D printed side inserts from Cobalt, though. Yeah, very very well done. Very cool, yeah. So. Also a PS three guitar down there, so that's definitely. Oh, this like guy restored. This guy restored a Beatles guitar. Look at this, the same guy. There it is in the where they, the that the looks great. It came in. That Look looks fucking that, sick. That looks actually, awesome. yeah, that looks amazing. Wow. I love that. Oh, here's another one. Here's another restoration of a Strat. Damn, Ooh, this dude's got that. That thing is beat the fucking shit. Yeah, that's ugly. Oh, look at this one. Look at this Slipknot build. Wow. Damn, this, what? This dude's that's pretty nice. artist, bro. That's this guy's nice. very that's talented. Sick. That's really nice. Oh, come on, bro. Look at this shit. They, they just keep coming. They just keep... Oh, I I've saw this, this one. one. Yo, I've I remember this one. one. Yeah. This is yeah. cool as fuck. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, it I've seen a couple of different... He knows us. Guitars. Kirk Hammett, he knows us. Yeah, we're yeah, on his does. phone. He took a picture He took a picture of us. He, 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 his we son's love phone. Fortnite. <laughs> yeah. That's actually a wild statement that we can yeah. actually... It really is. Bro, 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 actually, funny enough, hey, the day this episode comes out, we were hanging out with Metallica five months ago, today. That's crazy. Damn. I still it, think like, about Denmark I, all the time. Yeah, I still think about how that happened. Like, yeah. I still think about going out to get food at midnight and how fun that shit was. The pizza that was so much fun. So good. Yeah, that's like that was so much fun. Peak of my life thus far was going to seriously. Denmark with all of y'all. That was and seriously like, amazing. Like, I was, I was, show, yeah. I was showing my friends some pictures, and like we went to like the top of that big tower, Jake. Like, yeah. Like me, you, Chad, MJ, Ashley, Chad's wife... That's when you went to the theme park. Yeah, to Volley Gardens. Mm -hmm. The the inspiration behind the uh, Disney 
Disneyland, Disney World. Very yeah, cool. Little piece of lore. Um, they went on roller coasters. You. I did not. We went to the arcade. Uh, you know, we played the. You know, we played that that punching game. I punched it correctly, and I got the lowest score than it, compared to everybody else. I was yeah. really mad. It's not testing your form; it's testing how hard you can hit it. Yeah, yeah, and so it's all arm. I did bad too. You know, but yeah, that was that, dude. Yeah, I still can't believe that shit happened. Like, it, it's just like the, we were on the we were on the Metallica podcast. Like, it just it's Bro. unreal. And like, I had like IRL friends <sighs> watch that and be like, "Oh, you did great." I'm like, I haven't watched it still. I'm like afraid to. I understand like, now. I'm afraid. I understand to watch now. <laughs> I understand 2025 now. now. 2025. Yeah. I understand now. I understand mm-hmm. now. Everything we all have. Practice. I get it. Uh, yeah. 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 I get it. Else practice. Mm-hmm. Oh, great. Well, been uh, a good day. Been a good yeah. week. I I a good and by day. that I mean it's been a good Thanks episode for, of War Hero. For listening. <laughs> yeah, <thank you>. Always <laughs> is. Always. Hell you yeah. Got for Who'd watching. You for? Yeah. Who'd you vote for again? 